before. But what he, what we're going to talk about right now, okay, is we're going to start talking about how to get through the floors and make it with enough time. Starting at 141 is definitely where the, the risk of time happens. I've seen it even on like machinists and stuff, people will start losing time. So we're going to we're gonna go through the floors and discuss why we pull things. It's going to kind of already assume certain knowledge that you know you have you know how the enemies work, you already know how to play the job. A lot of things are already set up. So this is about trying to get through the floors. And as we go through each set, it'll become more and more important. So that's why the title says time management because it'll be focused on getting through with time. Sound good? That's good. <clears throat> it's time management time, guys. It is time to time manage. Oh, it's okay. Hey, Joan, I was, I was just playing, man. I know I know you meant second win. I know you I know you just played. I'm just, I'm just playing, man. Mm. That's not surprising, Kradish. It sometimes can get a little spooky on that one, for sure. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a Manticore coming in. I'm gonna check this room. There's the exit, so let's pull the Manticore now. Cool. We're gonna start watching the other rooms, too. We got two more Manticores coming down that line. Nothing coming in over here, so we're gonna check this room to see what's over here. That's a chest. So what I'm trying to do now, as I have the ability to do so, is we're checking a little bit on the room to see where I can go, etc. I might potion here just to keep the pulls going. But what I definitely don't want to do right now is I don't want to go like to the next room because I don't know if there's a trap. So this is part of it playing a little bit safer is that because I have not traveled these rooms without trap, uh, with traps on, I don't really go any further than a, than a certain situation. Um, but I've already navigated, so I kind of know where I went, may want to go, so we're gonna go this way. And now that I don't have aggro, I can check the room. Check the chest, intuition. Let's go this way. If we step on a trap, it's okay because I don't have aggro. When I'm here, right now, here's when I can do a pull. And I'll pull the manticore. Checking the room. There is a chest here, so I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit. Titan Song slaps. It does slap, man. So, so definitely notice that I really, I will try to always fight in a safe spot here. This is a safe spot. No trap potential, so on and so forth. Gargoyle just, just spawned. Alteration. I'm gonna use it. Drip. Potion. Second one here. I'm gonna gravity this. Just kidding. Now I've already walked this side of the room, so I know that this side of the room is safe. So I'm sprinting to get out of here. So I've, it's like I traced the floor already. I've traced that path when I walked there. So that's why I'm okay with running through that, that wall again. And it also gives me the, the room to kite on this gargoyle. And that is a gargoyle without steel on. So there you go. Um, now the next room, I may not want to go too far into the one here. Because I'd have to go through a couple enemies. So I'm going to kind of back up here. Let's do a demon when I'm safe right here. So I'm safe now because we're getting into the spawn room. And we just fight here for a bit. Now here's two paths that I have. I can continue pulling that north room if I still need kills. Because then it opens me up to that last room. If I open the exit now, I will just go to the exit. Because, you know, I don't think I really would... Tremendously benefit off that room if there's something and there's also a manticore coming down that room So here we start killing. There's a cat by the way by the exit But I don't pull that and the reason I don't pull that is because it's not blocking the exit Very important to note that because sometimes I think people get a little pull happy in like certain rooms Like you see the room. Oh my god, that's an easy enemy, you know, let's just pull this one Well, then that kind of that kind of removes your chance of getting to another room unless you pull more this Ked, see his position? He's gonna hang around that position for a while. Which means he's not gonna get close to the exit. He could, but there's a good chance he's not. So I don't have to kill him. And there you go. You don't have to worry about that. So next turn. Hey, 1 and 256, hello. Does the amount of time required to be left for the boss vary much depending on the job? It can. Loken is about right. I'd say a vast majority of jobs are doing it in 8 minutes. The only ones that probably aren't are like tanks and healers. Um, we alter this room, by the way, so we do have the Zikorigan. Check the chest. After. Uh, I don't need that silver unless I want points, so we're ignoring the silver chest. Next room. Now, I have my reassembled drill up, but we are DPS, so we can kind of wait on it a little bit. So, 
So those two enemies are not blocking a path. Usually I will pull if something's blocking my path. Those two are not blocking me, so I don't need to pull them. I think what I what I will see a lot of people do on their streams is that the first thing they see, like like here's I think a little bit of a problem, not a problem, a little bit of maybe a habit. A habit is a good word. A habit that people might do on their runs. And and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, if this is the way you think. But I think a lot of you will consult Meiji's guide. You will see, oh, Ked, really easy. Easiest enemy in this set. So you'll see a Ked, and you'll be like, okay, that's easy, I'm pulling that right now. But it's relative, because it's not like everything else is that difficult. So if I pull that Ked over there, I might start overkilling because I still need to clear up the exit, so on and so forth. So watch for that. So this is the room I want to get rid of, because there's two enemies that by the exit. Does that make sense? Now this is where I want to eliminate enemies. I don't want to eliminate enemies two rooms away where there's nothing over there. I want to eliminate the ones that are by the exits. You want to try to keep the kills always to a minimum. Kids have high damage? I mean, if you get hit. <laughs> if you don't get hit, they're not that bad. Alright, these guys want to want to make out, so I just, I'll just pull one, you know? You know? I have steel on, so this can be better. Okay, then we pull this one. And we're pulling this one because he is also kind of looking towards the exit. Now, if I need another kill, I'm gonna go west because there's a chest there. Specifically west, I'm not gonna pull anything else. Although we can kind of fight anything in this floor right now, but we're gonna definitely go west for, for the potential of these two chests, apparently. Oh, that's a chest room, never mind. <laughs> we found a chest room, guys. So that's different. Uh, we are out. I can actually sneak this chest right- no, no I can't. I'm out. There is a demon looking towards the bronze chest, so I will skip. So that's okay. We're not- we haven't really used something that we need to get back. We're still kind of full on palm, so there you go. We are now six minutes out of the first two. Big difference, by the way, from when we tried this Tuesday, where I was picking up flights out the ass. Like, we just kept picking flight after flight after flight after flight. So this is, I'd say, a little bit more of a normalized run. Taylor, good morning! Hey Taylor, good stuff this morning. Um, good stuff this morning. I was I was able to tune in a little bit, as much as I could earlier, and it looked like you guys were having a blast. I was telling Loken that, it looks like you guys are having so much fun. So, Taylor and Loken were doing a little bit of a collab earlier today uh, for NA players, uh, or morning, or, or the nighttime for the, for across the, uh, across the world. Um, it was, it was actually a lot of fun. They were doing Deep Dungeon, obviously, but uh, it was actually pretty fun to watch. Their candor was actually pretty hilarious. Power nap complete! Power nap complete! Oh, are we doing the 91 file biff tech? What are we doing? Did I like it? Oh, it was great. I, I, it was fun. It was fun to sit in and watch. Um, and I was in and out, uh, doing things, doing errands and stuff, so I wasn't able to really sit down. I was listening to it on mobile, but it looked like you guys had a lot of fun. I was actually going to comment, Jayla, because I was on mobile, so I wasn't able to watch too much of it. But I was watching, I think, the 120 boss, and I saw you jumping a lot, and I was about to type something about that. And I'm like, hey, you're jumping, good job. And I'm not talking about the ability jumping, I'm talking about, you know, spacebar jumping. I'm like, yo, let's go. Yo, what's up, lava button? You have two 91s? Let's go, Biff Tech, I believe in you. So I'm skipping a lot of these enemies because, again, we want to get to the exit first. The, the first priority is to see what's by the exit. If it's a treasure room, what if it's a treasure room? Well, we start clearing up the treasure room. So this is why this is beneficial right now, you know? I just skipped five, like skipped four rooms of enemies. I'm not just pulling because YOLO pull. We want to see where that exit is, that's important. Again, what I see a lot of people do, and definitely I was talking with a specific runner who I was able to help them out through this kind of advice, and it helped them, because they got the clear right away. It's that they were literally like getting to the first room and just pulling, pulling, pulling. And the exit would open up within like two rooms. And then it's like, okay, now you've caused the problem of like, okay, let's make sure we don't aggro. Well, what about chest? Let's check the chest. But then there are mimics. Okay, time loss. All that adds up to the run. So you want to get into this habit of making sure that your pulls are very efficient. I jump so much, I jump as much as you- as much as I do? Yeah, so that's good. That means you are properly trained for the deep dungeon. 
You do spin jump? Oh, I do like I do like spin jumping. The 360 spin jump, I do like that a lot. Yeah. It wasn't a single wall she didn't backflip into. <laughs> Damn. Jumping adds DPS to Machinist, yeah. Uh, if I don't jump, I will actually- my character will get deleted off the game, that's what happens to me. So I have- I'm actually obligated to jump. So look at this, guys. So I'm focusing here on the exit. That knight actually just respawned. But these knights are proximity! What if I had opened the exit already? If I had killed everything coming up to here, and then we got to this exit? Well, I'd have had to kill these two knights anyway, because they're both proximity. I hope that- I hope that kind of translates to you guys of it, as I'm explaining it. I hope that makes sense. Because that's what's important, that you guys understand why I'm saying this. Like, it isn't- I'm not just saying it and, and just like, just like, okay, there's the information. Like, I hope you guys understand that, because it, it does make a difference. Um... Like, I was- I've been saying even since, like, we did the Warrior version of it, where, like, every time I make a- every time I make a decision of pulling and going through the floors, it's not random. It's actually very well thought out. But also to that point, it's been thought out because of experience. It isn't like all of a sudden I'm thinking of it. It's just I've just experienced this before, and that's why we do this process. So, banger, it's a banger. I'm pulling this knight because it is blocking my path to the exit on the on the west on the west side of the room. This is a tease. This is really nice. Best song ever. I know this song has a lot of meaning to Final Fantasy XIV players around. That's like actually one reason I did put it in. Um, okay, let's check the room first. I know there's an enemy there, but let's just go this way first. Intuition. I have fire. I have wildfire up. Don't give me a problem. Uh, okay, Karen of Returns here. Oh, there's a chest here though. So let's actually work to the chest. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's work the chest. I'm skipping these- I'm skipping these other enemies if I can help it, I just want the chest. So if it's a mimic, if that chest is a mimic, well it contributes to the exit. Um, now, I may aggro the gargoyle, so let's just actually- oh, I did. Oh wow, I aggroed him a lot earlier than I thought I would, interesting. I didn't think I'd aggro him that early. Look at that trap over there. Skipping. Okay. Now let's see what's in the exit. Nothing's by the exit, so I can actually work pretty nicely here. Checking if that's a mimic. Not. Let's pull the gargoyle first. Only because I probably have to get maybe two or three more kills here. I drop it. Okay, hey! Nillery, thanks for being here. Keep... Okay. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It will depend on how today runs, but uh, but we might. We might do ninja in palace. Might do ninja in palace. Ow, you know. Uh, let's do this one. This just spawned apparently, so... Now I should have checked that chest. I saw it a little late, however I would have aggroed the, the ghost anyway. I have interject ready. One... Two... Three... I know it's a little off, it's fine. Lust? I will actually use the Lust just to help me out in this fight. Wonder how aggressive you can be with flights in 171. I think you can. If it's gonna save you rage, I think it's not a bad idea. Honestly. Okay, that's good. Just enough kills, and we are out. So we are now 47 minutes walking into the 5th floor. A lot of time. You know, run this in comparison. Uh, run this in comparison of how your runs go in terms of time. Or do you have this much time? Are you way under the time? And then start comparing it to how I'm kind of deciding my pulls, etc. Bloom floor, we have steel on, but I now have a rage. So let's actually see how much I can get to uh, before I need to rage. I'm actually going to let this rage go. I could pull him, but I want to check that chest first. Okay, we're checking the room. So what I like to do is I want to see if there's a mimic. Serenity! That's cool, so we will use it. Alright, now I want to check one more room before I decide to rage. 
because I have to go back to get the rage anyway. So I can travel, maybe check the next room to see if there's a chest here, and then we will probably rage. So let me see if I can just touch the chest. Uh, it is on that side of the room, so let's go this way. Keeping a little loose on the wall. It's okay if we if it's okay if we hit something because I can just rage it out. There is a knight here, so I'm actually going to potion and let's rage now. Because if I step on a bad trap, I could die. We'll kill these first, and then we'll move. Which means traversing the the exit twice. Yeah, that I that one I haven't noticed personally, but I do like the rages that are by the exit. I feel like. I do want to clear this up first. Actually, let's clear it up here. Okay, getting the knight to aggro me. Letting the knight come to me first before I kill it. So what I'm doing here is I do want to check this room to see if there's a chest. And maybe we get something out of it. You know, the strength out of it could be good, could be a time save. Uh, killing the gargoyle here and we drop. Check. It is a steal, so that's beneficial. We spent the time to work over here and we got it, so now we got the steal out of it. Oh yeah, I've done- I really try to check uh, myself, Yolandi. You gotta make some type of mental check. What I like to do is before I use the rage, I will sometimes look at the map first before I hit the button. I'm pretty good at doing that as, as a habit. It doesn't always happen, but... You know. After the fourth- wow, fourth time? That's not bad. I've lost a lot of runs in the early days because I wouldn't pay attention. It took me a long- Took me a long time to create a good habit about it. Uh, Luchi, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, fortune's late. That's fine. Forty-three minutes walking into the sixth floor. We're actually one minute behind pace of a speed run. Again, even though we didn't have those millions and zillions of flights like last time. Fortune will use it. The Persona would have to die. Actually, the Ghost has to die first, because he is going to be a patrol. So let's get rid of him first. I have Interject. Actually, I will not use it, strategically. Because I want to pull the Persona next, and I will need it for the Persona. So let's not use it on this fight, but let's use it on the Persona. Well, actually, I don't have to do it in the Persona, because he just moved. So let's actually skip the Persona. Resolution came back, sweet. Let's go to the next game. Uh, I did fortune, so this is a drop. Sight, nice. Good pickup. <laughs> hey, I've never played Persona, don't call me out, dude. Uh, Luchi, hello. Watching my PewDiePie be Red Mage last night and inspired you to do pals. Hey, well, welcome to the climb, my friend. Welcome to the club. The club of the climbers. Um, it's a very nice community. We like to help each other out, it's kind of cool, so I hope uh, you enjoy your stay. It's actually really interesting too, considering you have two weeks to Endwalker, but hey man, you know, maybe a lot of you guys are looking for something to do and you got it. Uh, it's it's Micro, thanks for follow welcome in. Hey Ping, good morning to you. Um, hey Ping, good stuff as well on your side about the uh, collab. Uh, it was fun watching you guys, watching the trio, have added the deep, the deep dungeons, so... One... Look at this trap, by the way. See this trap, guys? Look at this disgusting trap. If you walk, if you walked along the right side of this wall, you might actually step on this trap. Look at that disgusting trap. Oh man, it's not cool. Sometimes this game, you know. That's why when when someone was talked about, I think Lev was the one talked about it earlier. You know about the whole like traps being being simplified because we hug the wall. Like that's not necessarily the case when it comes to palace. It's not a it's not a one hundred percent guarantee that you're not stepping on a trap, but you can still step on a trap. Um, I'm having a pretty good day. I'm really awake today. Uh, la yesterday I was tired, man. I was just like fucking tired, but I wanted to do the stream, of course. But today I'm like I'm like ready to go, man. 
Can I handle traps? Depends, Axar. It depends. What I will look at is what spawns. And this is where knowledge of the game is important. Because knowing if some things will kick your ass and other things won't, then you can determine if you need to use something or not. There can be a combination of enemies that you can fight no witching, no nothing. You just deal with them straight up. But there can also be a number there could also be a combination of enemies where you probably have to witching literally twice just to make it through. Like it really depends on what spawns. Now I can talk about like if we step on a luring, what my decision was and why we decided that, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to just spout out random scenarios because, you know, there could be literally dozens and dozens of scenarios that you can run into. Now here's an example that I can give you because this is on video. If you ever check my machinist, uh, my live throw machinist, I did handle a luring trap in uh, 194 and we did not witch him. It spawned three dragons. And because I know that they do a lot of stop and go, they do evil eye into Konal, I just kited them for two runes and we did not do a witching. I just fought them straight up and we killed them straight up. So, you know, it just depends on what spawns a lot of times. Uh, Ko- 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 Ro -ru. Ko -ro -ru. Thanks for follow up, man. You've been up for 14 hours? Is that a lot? Mm -hmm. Yo, LMAP, thanks for the- thanks for- damn, dude, you guys are so kind today, hello. Thank you for these subs, I really appreciate it. Um, it really means a lot that you're supporting the channel. Honestly, every- every single one of those subs and everything really makes me feel like we're doing something really cool here. You know, I just love doing this content, but it's really transformed into trying to get you guys to also do this content and... And it means a lot that you're like, yeah, yeah, I really like this content too, you know? Whenever, whenever, aw, hey, that, aw, that means a lot, man. I appreciate that. You know, there's so many other streams that you could definitely say hello to, but if you're sending it over here, that means a ton. Anyone know about the Jackie? Oh, let me see. Um, can you LOS Jackie this set? I never pulled them on healer because without strength they scare you. Well, um... So the answer is yes, you can LOS it, but it's more it's more problem of yeah what Pin said. It's more problem of this of this map than the ability to actually LOS it, because a lot of these like a lot of these crystals I don't think are solid objects, so they go through the crystals. So it's really difficult. What I would recommend on the healer, honestly, is that you just make sure that you're capped out. Or oh, you know what you can do? Because I know you were doing um, there's two things. I know you were doing Astro. So what you can do in Astro is actually fight demons with shielding and just shield for it. That's actually what I did on Scholar and Heaven on High. It's when we dealt with a demon and they were going to do that move, I actually just took it to the face and we did shield plus Xcog and it was fine. Um, now if you're White Mage, what you can do on White Mage is you can do a, you can do a tactical Swift Holy and just stun it because you can stun it. So you can just Swift Holy if you do it. On Scholar, I would probably just... just Add low, that's it. If, if you're if you seem like you're about to get hit with it, just add low and, and then just heal through. Um so yeah, that would be like um that would be like a uh, a backup plan. Is it the same animation? No it's not. It does not give the purple telegraph. It doesn't do that. It just does the move. So you don't get that visual, it just does the move. Um but it's like kind of the same it's kind of the same move though. Now I will say when I did White Mage, I actually was okay with the damage one in 256. I didn't have a problem. Um, I didn't have a problem killing it in time. Although I did keep, I did keep Holy just in case as a backup if anything went wrong. And I did have Benny as well. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I would say on like Astro Scholar, just shield up for it, and and you won't take. You know, you'll lose half your life. That's not bad, right? So, uh, Machine is great. Says Piggers. I, I once survived a luring trap of dragon, hippo, and trap with a strength. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dragons are really easy. The traps are not bad, especially if you can kind of manage their thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, th and that becomes an understanding pairs of, of, of like, okay, what spawned? What is the thing that spawned? Okay, let's deal with the things that are worse first. Let's leave, leave the easier things last. Like, that's important to know, right? So, that, that is game knowledge. I mean, yes, it's it's going to be very spooky when you see three enemies coming at you, but the more advanced play is what spawn. 
who were we fighting, you know? This succubus was an accident. I did not mean to pull it, but we just kind of went into that position. Um, I'm doing a flight here. Kind of went off a little bit of talk. Let's just get right back into it. So I'm looking for the exit right now, right? We have not really killed... We have not really overkilled so far. I don't want to pull anything here because I don't need anything here. The exit I've already discovered is to the west, so we want to get there first. Ex the, the, the key is at an orange key. So we're probably, what, one, two, three kills away? We want to do those kills working towards the exit. So like this, for instance, would have to go because he seems to be blocking my way to the exit. How's the internet? Don't know. We're going to see today. It's been okay so far, but man, it could go out at any point, right? So we're just going to cross our fingers and, uh, and just hope for the best. Okay, I got to walk here. Because of the because of the gravekeeper, it is sound. If I'm walking, he will not aggro. Perfect. Let's try to get across the hellhound. Ooh, let's walk again. Watch the hellhound. Okay, I am familiar with that trap. It's right here. I know about that trap. I was worried about it, but it's okay. I'm probably gonna aggro the hellhound when I go across here. I did not. Okay. So now the better pull is the persona. Because the Persona is proximity, so he's blocking the exit. This has to die no matter how you do it. And that's why the priority was to get to the exit. We wanted to get to the exit so we can see what's over here and then we can make our adjustments. My steel is down. Okay, let's go. Next floor is flighted and, uh, and we got an insurance raising which is really nice, so I like it. Let's go. 34 minutes walking into 149. You want to talk about time management, guys? Here we go, we're managing our time. We have a lot of time to play with right now. Yeah, yeah, L Yolandi, I was just talking about that one. The three the three dragons on 191+. Plus. So I'm just going to get some water, sorry. This is not time management. Don't refill your water in the middle of the floor set. Don't take a piss in the middle of the floor set. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to examine the room around me because we want to make sure we don't walk into a patrol while we're fighting this mimic. Have a pee bucket. I mean, look, if you're hardcore enough. Wow, or a carpet. Logan. Damn, Logan. Is that what you do, dude? Holy shit, man. Is that why you're up for 14 hours? Oh my god. Wait. Uh, shit, I did it wrong. We're at 14 now? Okay. We're at, we're at yeah, okay, we're at 14. New found respect for Loken, damn. Loken's street cred has now increased by 5, holy shit. Um, I would like that chest, so let's go pull this one right here. Level up, man. We raided uh, Sharpie Dressman last night because he was playing uh, Cyberpunk and street cred is like, you know, kind of the thing what they do there, so I was thinking about that. Oh my god! Look! Something spawned on top of me! Man, never seen that one before. Gee whiz. Okay, that's really good Guess I'm not finding that ult room either. It's all here. Level zit down. Damn, boss. Damn, dude. Sorry about the visuals. Uh, the dragon just moved across the room. I want this chest, though. Oh, there's two of them. Check. Intuition. Worth it. Check the other one. If I aggro the dragon, it's okay. I don't mind. Sight again. Oh, sight again. Wait, sight again? Did I just use one earlier? Okay, that's okay. That's actually okay. Oh, I used the safety. That's what I used. Okay, and disrupt the chest. We'll check it later. Evil eye coming out. Okay, exit is open. Check the this one. What I would like to get is a strength or so I want to strength or steel and steel. So I will fight my way now. We have 31 minutes. Safe to say we have enough time for the boss. So what I would like to do is I want to see the last room that I have not checked, which has chests. If I get a strength steel out of that, we do not have to strength steal for the next. We will have a strength steal for 151. 
So it's very important now that I will get the chest because of time. Now, if you're straining for time, if you're on this floor with like literally 10 minutes remaining, don't bother with that room. Just ignore the room. But because we have time, we want to take advantage of the time. I will have to... Uh, actually, I can get around the dragon this way. Oh, I just auto-shot him. Nice. Thanks, auto-attack. I swapped targets and... Uh, I swapped targets and uh, it hit him. How could you? Self. Have you ever played Monster? I have. I have played Monster Hunter World before, but it did not hold me very well. I played it in PS4 when it came out. I played the base game, but I got bored. I know, I know. It's a great series. I, I know I had fun with it, it just didn't hold me very much. I considered getting Rise, but my memory of, of World just was still there, so it didn't help. Okay, so we did not get a, um, we did not pull up a... Uh, a strength steal out of this. However, what I will be doing on this fight is we will. Uh, we will. Um, we will do this no strength, no steal. Just to showcase it. I don't. I think I've done it before, but we'll do no strength, no steal in this fight. I have the raising, so if I die, it's fine. We will no strength, no steal this fight. So you guys can see kind of the limits of what, what machinists can pull. That's the main reason. So if we're doing strength and steel, this boss will probably die in like 5 minutes. Easy. Um, but without the strength and steel, what's going to happen is we're obviously going to take a lot more damage. Obviously. But, you know, it's good to kind of see how that damage comes into play. Because we more or less keep this fight very consistent. And I think there is someone talking about or asking about, uh... Um, were you guys asking, had a discussion about Blood Rain on this fight? So, if you're familiar with, I think it's... Haku Manor Hard Mode. There is a DPS check when it comes to that ad specifically. Because you're supposed to do enough damage to the ad, otherwise Blood Rain will kill you. That mechanic does not exist here. Blood Rain will just do the same amount of damage no matter what the hell happens. So what I will be doing on Machinist is we completely ignore the other ad because I don't need to do damage to it. Um, basically, the boss will always heal and absorb this ad. So the only reason you're doing damage to the ad is just, you know, it's either you do damage to the ad or you do damage to the boss. So because I do damage to the boss, it doesn't really matter. So I just completely ignore that ad and does not need to die. Okay, so now he's absorbing. No problem there. Didn't take too much damage with it, so that was great. So all I need to be is at full HP. Blood Rain will not one-shot me, but it will do a significant amount of damage. It'll do like 75% of my HP. So you'll see it. I'll just use the Super Potion here. Okay, that's all I need. And we continue fighting. It's basically a one-to-one -one healing. So whatever HP the whatever HP the ad has, it'll heal for that amount. So whether you deal damage to the boss, whether you deal damage to the ad, it's just going to do the same thing no matter what. So for certain jobs, it would be beneficial to do your AOE combo, assuming the math the math adds up that it's more damage to do an AOE. You know, but in in reality, I mean, you don't have to go that crazy unless you're really really pushing time. Like if your time is strained. You know, then you want to start thinking about those optimization things, but when you're not trained for time, it's not a big deal. Well, not every boss. I mean, kind of like 160 is a little bit more strategic. You don't technically go on a merry-go-round, but... 99% of them, yeah, 95% of them, exactly. But but with this strategy, this kind of showcases like okay, this is how this is how strong machinists can be, right? No steel, no strength. I would I would do no steel, no strength on like red mate, but I would not do it on any other job really. Motion. Barely touched. Now I have to make sure I'm full, right? We have to make sure I'm full here. And we are gonna be full. He got a hit off me? 
Shazam. Oh, should be fine. We'll be fine. Also, if you notice, the crawling ads will get killed. The crawling ads will die from Blood Rain. So that's also one reason why I'm not dealing with them, because they will just die eventually. Um, so you don't need to deal with them at all. Uh, for certain jobs you do. If I was on Red Mage, I am killing them, because this it does it does really inhibit my ability to do my melee combo. So I will kill them on, say, Red Mage. Black Mage I will kill them on as well, because it's going to get really hard to kite around while trying to do damage, and trying to worry about like literally five things chasing you. So you will see me do it a lot on Black Mage, but like, like that's really the only jobs outside of the melee jobs, which obviously you have to do on melee. Because you need off time on the boss, so... But for range classes, uh, it's unnecessary to, um... It's unnecessary to deal with them. You'll go back and get your revenge? I'll share that, I'm sure you will. Oh, I got hit. <clears throat> Damn, why are you guys why are you guys poking fun at Shayla's backflip? Was it that bad? Holy shit. Was she was she doing the floor tank on Dragoon? Holy fuck. Was it that bad? Oh my god. Tactician. She was an absolute floor inspector? Wow. Holy crap. Hold on, I gotta pay attention. Watch my HP here, we're taking some damage here. I haven't even sprinted yet, by the way, either. <laughs> Alright, good to go so far. So this, by the way, why are we not using a Strength and Steel here? Well, it's very really simple. I mean, if I don't use a Strength and Steel here, then I can use it on the next floor. And it will become a little bit more valuable for me on the next floor, because then I could probably go on the next floor faster. So having having the chance to be able to do this without doing the Strength Steel, and having the time for it to do it, it's worth it. How long, how long is this going to take me? What, 10 minutes maybe? No, it's probably going to take me 8 minutes without Strength and Steel, I don't know. I don't know if someone saw what time we started this fight, but, you know, you can just get a rough idea of how long this is going to take. should be more or less consistent, too, because I really haven't lost damage on this fight at all. Eight percent. I think I actually need another cycle. I don't think I kill this before the ad, the ad uh, gets absorbed, which is okay. That's not a big deal, because we'll kill it on the very next cycle. Mitigating a bit of that damage. It's gonna get pulled in, it's okay, not a big deal. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my potion is down, nice. One, two, three. There you go. No strength, no steel. One fifty. Dead. Got him. Eat Z. So that's actually at least a, an example there of what you can do on machinist. Look, resources is time. So if you're saving resources, you're saving time. Time, 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 time. Pretty floors, pretty floors. Alright, guys, let's continue. 
to the pretty forest. Alright, we further, we, we keep talking time management, guys. Time management. Time, 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 time. Time for Innocence. So this is like a, a very appropriate song for this floor, too. Gremlin's mine. So we are going to be a lot more looser with our movement here because I am very much aware of where these traps could potentially be. So you'll see my movement way more free now. As long as we're hugging these walls, we will hopefully not be have a problem in terms of stepping on traps. Which also means I'm kiting. I wanted the gremlin first just to kind of keep the, the pull going. We'll do the shop tea next here. I want to be careful with the shop tea, of course, with the AoE that it's got. I'm gonna make my way to the next room, by the way, but we have to also be careful of our movement. So, there's a couple of things that I will be doing constantly as we're moving through the floors. I am going to be watching the rooms in front of me to see where the enemies are facing. Very, very important, because I want to see if we can get across without a problem. Did not really see what this deep eye did, but not a big deal, because if I aggro, I can continue. Alteration. If I need to get across this room, we gotta find a pudding. So I'm gonna actually fight the pudding here, uh, because um, I I'm, I don't think the wall traps are here, but the, we'll just play this a little bit more carefully. He does me for the axe, yeah, it's good. Oh no, Yolandi, that sucks. I gotta pull the other one because of its position. So it moved into that into that uh, area where I would need to go to the next room. So I pulled it. Uh, again, we are pulling things that will give me a problem. So if I cannot get to the next room, we are pulling it. And that's why I pulled this pudding specifically. You know, again, it's not a random pull. There's a reason why I pulled this thing. Okay, Shopty's coming in, but I can skip it. We'll hug the wall very tightly. We'll check the chest as much as we can. Check the chest for Chion. We'll check that one. I'm gonna beeline to this one right now. Check. Alteration came back. Well, that's whatever. We're pulling this one so I can get access to the room in front of me over there. Maxi Million, thanks for that follow. Welcome in. The other pudding is giving me a problem, however. So, if the exit opens, I will go to the exit right now. If I need to kill something else, I will pull this pudding. If we need to kill something else, we will pull the pudding. We're checking our behind just to see if anything's coming, but we only have to worry about that one patrol. Dying to enemy crits is the only thing that did that makes you mad. Okay. You want some pudding? I have not had pudding for a long time. Hmm. I've not had jello for a long time either. Okay, I'm going because that other pudding just moved in a bad spot, so I will not run the risk of that room. If I was going for score, I will. But today, all we're going to focus on is getting you guys through to the, to the bench. So this is the time save. At least that's how I kind of would define it. Deep Eye is looking towards that way, so I'm going to go the long way to avoid aggro. And he moved in that direction, so it's fine. Did not pull this pudding, because he was not going to give me a problem to begin with. So now we are going to go to the exit, clear, no extra kills, next floor. We are out on this one in 4 minutes. Okay, here's a, a good example of a no items floor. Strength is tempting, uh, but we'll deal with this right now. So let's go with the shop key first. Hug this wall very tight because there could be a trap one foot, one step off the wall. Uh, you know, that happened. So let's go. I forgot about that AoE. Nice, GG. It wouldn't have killed me though. That, that much I know, it wouldn't have killed me, but it would have been kind of spicy. Okay. Now let's check this chest. And then I probably pull the next shot. Ooh, we got Mimics. 
Sight coming in. And that's two mimics in that room. So let's pull the shop key. <laughs> yeah, shot these RP until they kill you. That's absolutely. I have to manually do the mimics today because for some reason my key binds are not working. Two down. I'm gonna wait for my HP to kind of come back here. Uh, by the way, this is ass right here. This is ass. That's a trap. Oh, that can be a trap. Where this intuition is, I know for a fact that a trap can be there. <laughs> ass. No. Dude, not with, not with no items, man. I'm gonna do it with no items, you kidding me? I mean, it does, it does allow me to get a Strength and Steel, though, because I would Serenity it, but no way, man. It runs over. $100, it is an Enigma? You just want me to use the Serenity. <laughs> that is bait. Because if I step over there and and it isn't, I don't think I'm getting a hundred dollars, just saying. Check. Sight. Ugh, we got a lot of good stuff here. Captain Soy Sauce. Hey, man. The captain of the Soy Sauce. Yo, thanks for following us in. Hey, your cookbook came today. Congratulations. I saw um, our buddy Kiriari got her cookbook today as well. I want to think Lemon Drop got hers today because I think she was saying that uh, she was going to get hers sometime today. Have fun cooking some stuff tomorrow. Or whatever. Whenever you decide to cook it. No, I just said tomorrow. Okay, let me check the chest here. You don't click chest no items? I know I can kill a Mimic. That's the that's the reason I do it. It's because I know I can handle a Mimic right now. Alright, let's go to the exit room here. Get over here. Okay. Go in here. Not gonna lie, I was slightly I was slightly seeing what the game had to give me here, and I was tempted to use a I was tempted to use a Serenity if I got really good stuff. I did get a strength and steel, but we're already like handling this for no problem, so we'll just pass on it. Can drop anything? No. Hey, it's our buddy Zelina. She did a short stream. She kept her word, and she did a short stream. I gotta make sure I don't die. Yo, what up, Celine? It's our best bud, Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna purge all of you. You watch. You're lucky my hands are on my keyboard, or I would purge all of you. Don't even, don't even make me do it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hello! How is Uwu? How did it go? Did we clear? I'm glad we cleared. Clearly? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rip. Luna, you're late! Joke's already over! Damn, Luna, next time come in here when, like, when everyone's already saying the joke. The fuck? And really because we got the- oh, we got the soup! Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Hey, guys. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. Hold on. I gotta kill the bot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Look, this is- this is part of time management, okay? Uh... You guys, you guys really, 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 really should check out my buddy Celine tomorrow, okay? You should check her out tomorrow, because she's doing a baking stream tomorrow. She's going to cook food live on Twitch. The first time she's doing it. She's going to do it at 5 o'clock Eastern, p.m. You all should be there, because I'm going to be there. And she's really excited. She's going to cook a lot of food for everyone. So you need to be there, I guess. It's important. Cheer you up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cheer up, guys. You gotta cheer up. 
definitely follow her, check her out. I will be there tomorrow, guaranteed. Um, but it's gonna be an awesome stream. She's feeding chat. She is feeding chat. Yeah, she's gonna feed chat. So check it out tomorrow. And she's 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 our best bud. So you should be there like all the time she's streaming anyway. But especially tomorrow, be there tomorrow. She's gonna give you a really good show tomorrow. So. But she is also, by the way, aside from cooking tomorrow, she is one of the best raiders I know. Cleared ultimates and savages multiple times. She knows her shit when it comes to raiding. She's gonna be doing week one raiding. At least that's the plan for EW. So all the more reason to check her out. Checking the chest. Lust. Another lust. Okay, well. Exit is free, by the way. So, oh, and actually, it's not free. I'm gonna pull this deep eye because it could cause a problem for the exit. So, we're gonna pull the deep eye here. Uh, but anyway, welcome in, guys. If it's your first time here, I'm Angel Demonist. Uh, we do a lot of deep dungeon solo on this stream. It is good to see everyone. Uh, sorry I missed kind of some of the chat, but I think I saw Claire's in here, Luna's in here. I think uh, Crimson are here in here, right? Yo, Swagga City followed in with this raid. Yo, let's kill man. Oh. My ass kicked over here. It's Crimson's birthday? Hey, happy birthday, Crimson! What are you, like, like 24 or something? Holy shit, man. Oh, hold on. Cool. Says happy birthday. Say happy birthday. <laughs> now sing it. I'm gonna get DMCA'd. Oh my god, dude, Celine's been trying to get me to sing like five times already. Holy shit. You just beat 180 for the first time! What job are you doing on Machinist? Let's go. 60. I said... I said 24. Hold on. Okay. There is a patrol coming this way. You would like to stop these things set up? I know! Oh, sick. Oh man, don't tell me, Ali. I am paranoid about disconnects, man. <gasps> I'm paranoid about disconnects. I cannot get to that other room. I want to check the other room over there, but I can't get there right now, so I might skip it. Machinist! Hey, congratulations, man. I hope I can follow you up and do it on my end today. You're old? Same, dude. I'm old too, man. I'm really fucking old. The bones, man. The bones tell me I'm old. But it's alright. It's just a number, man. You've been struggling so I was losing hope. Hey, now the hope's all back, man. I know that feeling. I know a lot of people are, are are also in the same position, but I'm so happy you got it. And also, I bet you can totally do it again, too. So even if, like, you know, the climb ends somewhere, you can absolutely do it again. Okay. I need to go to the next room. Ice Cleaver! Thanks for the three months, man. I appreciate that. If you're from Swag City stream, hello, I am Angela Demons. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo, as Swag was doing on his stream. And we are doing Machinists and we're talking time management. We are talking about how to go through these floors efficiently and making sure you don't time out, hopefully. Hopefully I do a decent job on that. But thank you everyone for being here, it's awesome to see you. Am I a dad? No, dude. No, please no. I don't think- I don't think this world needs spawns of me. Just saying. You're an old man even put <laughs> True. Now I know I can't I'm pumped, but I actually need to prepare. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah! I gotta prepare, but that's cool. Hey, at least you got some new information to study, right? It's a good thing. Okay, we're finally out. I want to check this room to see if there's a chest in here, but there isn't, so we're just gonna go. To be dead? I mean, true. I don't want to call that. It makes me feel really old. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Was a good bit- good bit higher than mine? Just a little bit? What are we at? Like, what are we at? We're at a 90? So you're what, like 92? Maybe? Like 94? Clearly? Alright, safely to the exit. Alright, let's go guys. 45, 15 on the first three. Let's go. Thanks again, Celine, for the raid, by the way. It's lovely to see you. Um, These dolls are gonna be ass, so we're gonna take care of them, because HP down is gonna be ass. 
Okay, okay, okay. Have a good uh, whatever you do for the rest of the night. I shall catch you tomorrow, and I'm very excited for you tomorrow, so I shall catch you tomorrow. No sprint? True. Who needs sprint? Alright. I was trying to match it. I was trying to match it to the floor, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah! I, I've actually had my heart rate hit that high, also. What's the- well, it kind of depends on the person, I think, but... I think, like, was it between, like, uh... 70 and 100? Normal? Hey, biggest boss! Thanks for two one, let's go! I appreciate it. Wow, guys, thank you so much for these subs, I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream, thank you for tossing that tier one over. Uh, this pot had to get pulled because it aggroes. So we're just dealing with it. Now I can't really traverse to the rooms right now because I gotta go through two enemies here. The one I want to pull is the Gremlin. So what I'm thinking here is the Gargoyle may not give me too big of a problem because it's in the middle. So I could go in like multiple directions, but the problem with the Gremlin is that it's in the corner so I may aggro it trying to go to my left side. Uh, so that's why I decided on the Gremlin. Now even though this Gargoyle is looking in this direction, it should not aggro when I sneak above it this way. And by doing this, it's okay. I'm not really worried about a trap right now. So as long as we hug this wall, we'll be fine. And I'll be able to get across the room here. Save some time. Steel I'm actually going to use on the way out. I'm not going to use it now. Check this chest. Serenity. Definitely using it. I'm going to pull the pot. Because the pot is blocking my way to the next room. I'm also going to pull it back. Holding. My resting is almost 100. Oh. Oh, I didn't have the thingy. Got the 5. Okay. Uh, I got the Serenity. I am not going to check the rest of the rooms. The reason why is because there are two proximity patrols coming my way, and I would have to get through them to get through there. So we're just gonna go now. Again, if you want points, you will do it, but we're, again, we're trying to get you guys to clear right now. Okay, Gloom, but I have Steel on, so that's good. We got a Flight, so we're checking it now. Uh, I will pull this pot because this pot could be a problem for the exit. So again, there's a thought process to the pulls, right? I'm not just randomly pulling, there's a reason I want to do these pulls. So for instance, this room over here, I may not need to pull anything because the, uh, the chest is right in this corner and these pots may not give me a problem. I also do want to note, that intuition is also a location for a trap. It is one foot off the wall. I'm familiar with that one, so be careful with that because that is one foot off the wall. Incoming patrol. Gotta be tight here so I don't step on this just by accident. Strength, gonna use it. I will kill the incoming uh, patrol here. Another one coming in, so I want to be careful. I want to actually stay here. I want to see if the patrol is going to go left or right. Look at the patrol. Do you see the patrol? He is leaning to his left, which means if I was on the wall to my right, I would aggro. We had this discussion maybe a couple streams ago about patrols not walking straight. That is one reason why you aggro on the wall, because they do not walk straight. So if I was hanging here, when that patrol was coming by, I would 100% aggro. Which is why I stood here, and I watched it. There's a reason. Saber Executor, thanks for follow up no. I could probably measure mine with a claw. I can feel it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, that's actually, that sounds very skilled. I don't know if I could ever do that. No. Alright, so, Gremlin. I guess another thing to note is I don't think too long about my pulls. We're not like deliberating, we're not having an inner dialogue with my brain. It's just, okay, let's pull this next. I think a lot of people lose time doing that. That you're like, okay man, maybe if I pull this one, this would be good. Maybe if I go keep- no, dude, just pull. <laughs> Make your decisions now. I've already decided I'm gonna pull this gargoyle next because I don't want to do the imp. You know? So, you gotta make these decisions a lot faster. 
Yeah, until I disconnect, Shayla. And then I get to cry. <laughs> and we get to cry together as a as a as a Twitch family. Yep, keep hey crow. I didn't realize you were part of the part of the the crew for Savix and uh I was actually talking about something earlier. Hold on. I will have to pull the imp here. Let's do this one first. So I'm gonna let Ice Spikes go. Ice Spikes will come in. Cool. Okay. Alright. So I was I was talking about it because I was able to watch the bot. I wanted to watch that bot of 190. And there was actually something <laughs> I mentioned as like a an interesting strategy that everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Um, but I was watching you. Uh, when you when you ended up like when when it was like the end of the fight and you know you, you were unfortunately gonna wipe and stuff, um, I was watching that part and you kept shooting the bomb because your your intention by the way your intention was maybe I can kick it off the wall if I got into a certain angle, but then I figured that you couldn't right but that's that's fine but what I thought about is what if and again I was trying to I was trying to ask chat if someone wants to go out there and just try it and said everyone said no. But I thought, what if you did the following crow? Let's say you kept poking the bomb so it wouldn't go off. And when Massive Burst went off, you actually got the boss to the bomb that's still there. And you stun him post-Massive Burst. And then you try to heal up thereafter. Buying you 5 seconds to heal up. Like 2 takes a sustaining potion, blah blah blah. As like a super like backup strategy that like was just like a whole a total hail mary play you know what i mean because you kept the bomb alive that long i had wondered if that would work i was asking if anyone in chat wanted to try it out everyone said no for some reason i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why everyone said no it's probably a good idea to me but anyway i i thought that was just an interesting thing that like because of your situation i never would have thought of you wonder what do you mean you wonder what do you mean I can try it? No, 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 we need to get people clear, so I'm a little busy. <laughs> you know, maybe if I was doing a, a fun D run, you know? I'm, I'm a little busy. Oh, fuck. So that's a... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna actually double check the exit, in case something spawned over here. Nothing did, but we're gonna actually pull it next. <laughs> Dang, no one to try it? Damn. Well, you know what? It was worth a try. I'm the closest one to try it. I mean, potentially. If I get okay, if I get to the boss with uh, with 20 minutes, I'll do it. I'm gonna pick up the strength now. We gotta make sure we don't get the imp. Okay, let's go. So what I think I could have done is pop sustaining. I kind of gave up when it exploded. May have survived. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, I think... I I have heard of Tails Crow, of people surviving Master Burst and Machinist, but they probably had Second Wind and Super Potion as well. Um, so... Alright, another no item floor, but I have Steel on for a little bit. So actually, what the play is going to be here is I want to try to pull stuff that are a little bit easier. So, let's pull you right now. Just to kind of get this damage rolling. But I think this was flighted as well, right? I think this was a flighted floor. So let's also check the chest. See, here's an interesting situation though. Because of the damage down, this could be a little bit annoying. So I may forego the chests right now. Uh, instead, we're just gonna go through and kill things. Okay. Uh, I'll pull. I'm gonna travel it here. You just DC'd at 130? Oh no, guys, you're scaring me. Stop. Good old 151 buffs? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Noga. The 151 is definitely notorious for these buffs. Oh, Mimic. Uh, that will aggro, so we're gonna pull it right now. Sprints, pull. It wants a death trap first. Because it did not open with infatuation. I wanna go the other way. Okay, we're fighting. Step along the wall. Do, do, do. 
All right, we're good. Actually, it was really stupid of me to check the chest. We don't want to check chests now. Exit's already open, we're just gonna go. 35 minutes walking into 157. Would you be able to test it on the boss? Um, actually, Essos, I think you're right. I think you could. I don't know how much damage you do on the boss, but I think you're, you are correct. You could test it on the 90 boss, yeah. We got a lot of patrols coming in. Let's see which way they go. This one is coming straight, so I'll pull this right now. Donut room! Everyone's favorite room, everyone's favorite food. Donut rooms are amazing because they are kiting, they are the kiting paradise right now. We are playing Ring Around the Rosy with the Demon. You ever play that in real life? Ring Around the Rosy with a Demon? It's a great game. Stop. Oh! Oh! What is that other chest? Strength, that's why I didn't pull it. We're pulling this patrol first. So we are eliminating the patrols right now. And the reason why is the patrols are proximity. Uh, if you have them running around, that could be a problem. Not to mention it could it could slow you down getting to the exit. And they're not that bad, especially with the donut room. Okay, next. Pull. These two, I don't need to pull these two. They are unnecessary. They are easier enemies, but they are not necessary right now because they are not blocking my my way to the to the exit. Side coming in. Also, again, I I want to make sure we don't take this part for granted. I am checking all of the rooms, checking all of the chests. It's very important that we do it. We are not skipping anything at all. Actually, I shouldn't have used that strength because it's closer to the exit. But it's not a big deal. Now, what I want to do is we want to get to the exit. So I'm gonna actually pull this gargoyle. Because I can- I'm gonna have a problem getting- Oh, Okay, I'm gonna have a problem getting around this room. So the Gauru goes, I went oop because I used Ricochet next to a demon. Which would have not really been too bad of a thing, but... Okay. I checked his chest, right? This was the site, which I did not pick up. So now we have the final room here. We can get to the chest, and by the way, the exit's free. The Soul Flare could potentially give me a problem, but it's hanging around the middle. One thing to definitely note important is that enemies don't traverse through the entire room. They usually stay within a certain quadrant. We mentioned that yesterday. So that Soul Flare is going to be more or less in the middle the entire time I'm on this floor. He's not going to like all of a sudden walk to another room. He's not going to all of a sudden, you know, move towards, you know, big distances from like left or right. He's just going to be kind of chilling over there, that's fine. Um, so we can leave him alive, but we can still keep an eye on him. And also, we're not hesitating in our pull. We just pull the Taurus right away because the eggs are not open. I do I fever is to the end of this pull. <laughs> Damn. Uh, exit's still free, it looks like. I'm gonna pull this Taurus if I need another kill, which we do. Cool. And now I am gonna make my way. Again, this is important. We're gonna make our way to the south room because it has a fresh strength in there. Uh, this was something that was asked earlier. Sabix was asking this earlier. What do you do about having a strength on the floor? Do you go back to it at the end? Do you pick it up? Whatever. In this instance, I basically have a clear path to the exit. So it's gonna be beneficial to me to refresh this strength. And I've also saved myself time by already walking over here. You know? I don't have to start from the north room to walk all the way over here to get to the exit. I've made my way here as a machinist by kiting and pulling, and now I just pick it up and go to the exit. So that's part of the whole time thing. I see an intuition, but uh, fuck that intuition. Also, there's a landmine over here. Fuck that landmine too. Cool. And again, I hope this is all kind of making sense to guys, to you guys. I hope um, the reasonings and the logic behind it is is making sense to everyone. 
I will think about it. This this is gonna be a problem. So this was what I was talking about earlier. Uh, we get a really bad floor that should equate right now to a Serenity. However, I may want to try to see how much I can get through before I make that decision. We do have Strength on, so that's going to help me with the kill time. So something like this, if I can get off this floor without using the Serenity, that is tremendous. So here, I want to see what the pulls are. The Gargoyles are good, the Tauruses are good. So as long as I have a lot of those, we're going to be okay. But once things start to get a little dicey, we will probably Serenity. But we're going to see how far we get first. We definitely, definitely, definitely do not want to fight a Soul Flare or an Imp with Gloom HP down. We can deal with everything else, but we do not want to play with a caster. So if I run out of enemies, then we Serenity. But while we're still able to fight right now with the Shank on, I'm gonna take as much advantage as I can. I can oh, I can't use items. Duh. Fuck me. Like, why didn't the pizza go off? Alright, the pizza's an item. Duh. Replacing HP down with no abilities? Yes. If we got if we got no abilities on this floor, I would I would serenity. Because we have no method of healing, no method of kiting. We don't have we don't have uh leg rays, we don't have anything. So the the risk of like if I had steel on, Yolandi. If I had steel on, I would consider fighting it. But without steel, forget it, because we can drop very quickly. Pulling this. That chest uh, I don't think we checked the chest though. I think I don't check chests period, although I did check the first chest, didn't I? Oh, I did check the first chest, because if it was our Mimic, I probably would just Serenity, but... And what was it? Save. Because I was already, like, I was already gonna commit to a, a Serenity when I checked that chest, but now that we're kind of getting through this floor, I may already change my mind and not check chests anymore. Because if we get a Mimic, it could be a big problem. Now we have two more enemies I can pull here. I still need to find the exit, however. I did that too early, so I'm just gonna pop it. Uh, I can't tell if the exit is in that direction. So I'm gonna pull this back first, and then we'll probably check there manually after. Okay, we're hugging the floors here, just to make sure we don't step on any traps. Gotta be careful with my HP, I took a couple hits here. So my second win might actually come into play here, but we'll see. Oh, oh. Second win. Emergency second win. Alright, we are out. I got a little too close to it, so I didn't get too much of a distance. That's why we took so much damage in that fight. Okay, so now let's see if we can find the exit. This one is staying middle, so that's not too big of a deal, because he's probably not going to see me. I found the exit, so we're going to get over there. Now, I will actually respect the positioning of these two. This one moved, so that's fine. I'm going to wait for the soul player to move, because I did not watch them. It would be too risky for me to try to to try to get to the exit right now if I don't know how these guys are moving. They are, but understand this, like, this might seem like a flex, you know what I mean? Like, okay, we just flex, we just did it. Cool, we did no HP down, no items, gloom, uh, we didn't use a serenity. But think of it this way, what if you don't see a serenity for the next 10 floors? Well, fighting through this floor was very significant because things could happen a lot worse later. So being able to risk yourself doing that and getting through is really, really important. Uh, now I understand if you don't want to do that risk, I get it, but to some extent you have some buffer to react, you know? It's like, maybe create kind of a, kind of a gauge. Like, okay, maybe we took two hits in a row. Maybe the enemy is above 75% and I got hit twice in a row. I think it's time to use that serenity. Like, you want to create this kind of baseline, like, like risk level of like if I if I cross over this line then we commit to it. But you don't want to just already give it an answer if you didn't give it a shot, you know? Nothing in here right now is gonna technically one shot you right off the bat. It's still gonna take a little bit of time for them to kill you outright. Ice spikes are coming in. Stop this, hold. Holding my damage. Okay, good. One Two, three. It's a good flex if you explain how I did it. Okay, that's fair. Uh, moving. I'm gonna use that pizza now. 
Oh shit. There's a lot of soul players. Uh, that's a silver. Mm. Okay, I already know what the exit is. I'm gonna pull this patrol first. And we're gonna figure out what we're doing about the rest of this. I clearly need to fight something else. I probably will pull a Soul Flare just to clear it up because it's a little risky in terms of the amount of enemies in there. This Soul Flare, by the way, in this room is not going to be too bad because it seems like he's not giving me a problem for the exit. So I don't have to pull him, but I really should pull the ones in the other room because I need more kills. Even if I can pull and run away, it's still risky for me to traverse through two floors. So we're going to pull this one first. I am a dumbass and did ricochet. What the fuck? I gotta stay close so it uses a uh, mind blast here. Popping a potion, there's mind blast. It's gonna do soul drain here. Oh, and we're out. Well, that's fine then. Oh, we're going to the next floor. Okay, well, uh. Huh. Let me actually see if I can check these chests. So we have a lot of time. We just got to the boss with like literally 24 minutes. So what I'm gonna try to do is see if we can actually get to some of these chests. I can get this one right now. It's clear. Plus, can't do it. I'm gonna try to check this chest. I'm gonna wait a bit. Can I bless your run? There, it's plus. A uh, sofa is bad to pull. Um, so here's the deal. Soul Flayers are casters, so they're not great to deal with on a ranged job. But also consider this. Soul Flayers have a move called Soul Drain. Soul Drain is a, is, is a, a heal, essentially. Whatever it does damage to, it heals it back. No matter how you slice it, the fight is longer than literally anything else you could pull. So essentially it's a time loss because it, it's just going to last longer than whatever else you pull. Does that make sense? So it's the worst thing to pull by that standard. Now also it does kick your ass because it does do a lot of damage and the fact that it heals doesn't help too, but one of the main reasons why. Alright, boss time. We have to strength steal for this boss. Oh, I, I might have been able to get away without a, without a strength, but what am I going to do? Alrighty. Legal. Two, three, four, five. Five. Alright, we're gonna go middle. Here's the knockback. One, two, three, four. Five, six. We are running, we are running, we are going. This fight took you 13 minutes on Astro with a free strength. Delicious. Man, in comparison to White Mage, White Mage, you could actually do it pretty at a pretty swift pace. I'm going middle here to see where I need to get pushed back. Okay, we got one. Respawn here. Two, three, four, five. I can't either, Swag. I can't either, man. I'm gonna be excited when we get in here. It'll be the last thing I try to do with the new jobs, though. But I can't wait to give it a shot. Going middle. Push back here. Royal Knight, thanks for that follow. Welcome in. How do you time the puddle for this boss? How do you time the puddle for this boss? Do you like talking kind of melee strap? Um, honestly, I don't have a perfect system for it, but I kind of do gauge it on a little bit of a rhythm. Because it does come out every, like, I don't know, two to three autos. You kind of get a feel for it with the fight, especially doing it a lot. Because 
you know, it's not a random occurrence. They don't just randomly drop a puddle. It's after a certain amount of autos. It's after a certain amount of time during the play. So you can just kind of time it. I mean, the safer strat as well, if you're kind of a little shaky on that, is you can just, um... All you can do is just, uh... Oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, all you can do is just, um... You can just keep running around the boss. Like, you can literally, like, like... Kind of spin the boss, if you will, just to kind of park the puddle. Um, if you're kind of concerned about it, you're not too used to timing. But there is kind of a rhythm to it. I guess um, I do have my full heal, so how about we try to do that in like a melee fashion? Um, so let me do it on the next rotation. I'll do it on the next rotation. I have tactician. I have all my heals up. Let's actually count the auto attacks when we do the move, shall we? Go in middle here. Uh, free spot over here. So let's do that. This is not what you do on Machinist, by the way, but it might help out for uh, another job. So I'm gonna get in here. Tactician. Alright, so we got one auto. We got two auto and the cleave. That's three. I'm moving now. So about three autos. Like, right on that third auto it does it, okay? So now we go for another set here. One. That's a cleave. Two. That's a hit. Three. So about three. So it's like three autos. So that's kind of where um, that's kind of where it is. So three autos. Does that help? So hopefully that that makes sense. So kind of when you're seeing like the third one either coming in or, or kind of just fired off, then you want to be start you want to start moving to avoid that puddle. Because if you are stationary when that puddle drops, uh, I don't have oh I do have one heal. Okay, I have one heal. So if I if I move late, we're gonna move late on the puddle. Watch this. I move late on the puddle. I'm gonna take a bleed tick right there. So you saw the bleed come up, and then it becomes a server tick if I take that damage or not. So you have to be in motion before that puddle drops, otherwise you take a bleed tick. That's why it's important to be in motion. This is why a range class has a benefit, because I'm well out of this puddle by the time he drops it. So I red mage sometimes gets in trouble because, um, because you might get caught mid-casting and then it drops the puddle and you take that additional damage. One. Yeah, I do have I do have arm slay. I did it really late. It it, it it happened too late. That's why it didn't work. I also like I don't use it a lot, so. But it was a late usage. Here you go. One sixty. One sixty done. Yeah, and instead I try to get in between. All right. So that's so far, right? So hopefully that all made sense right now. We're gonna step into 161 in a sec. I'm gonna hit the restroom though. We're gonna take a small break. We're gonna do a quick ad break. But we'll come back and we'll continue. So far, so good, everyone. What is the X macro? Okay, so this is my HP macro. This one right here is the HP macro we use. I know there's a, like a fancy one nowadays, but this is the most simplistic one. We're gonna be using this for Behemoth. This one is my transformation macro. It's right here. So I'm gonna put that one in chat too. So if you saw me earlier, I used Lust. I hit this macro to jump out of Lust. I didn't use my mouse to click it. I don't use the mouse, period. So we use this macro to jump out of Lust, to jump out of Karibu, to jump out of Rage. So that's what that macro is, so. Although, I mean, these macros are all very old. I don't use like literally any of them, but you know. There is one for food right here. Oh, what's the, what's the one for food? Hold on. I don't use- oh, I, I will use it actually for Machinist. We'll use it later. Status will well fed. We'll be using that for Machinist later. But, um... Anyway, I'm gonna hit the- I'm gonna- oop, that's a bad way. I'm gonna hit the restroom. We'll continue in a, in, a, in a few minutes. I do appreciate you all guys for being here. All the follows, all the subs, all the raids. Really appreciate that. Um, and we'll continue in a sec. Thanks for being here, guys. Enjoy some music and some community art. I'm gonna do a quick ad. BRB.
All right. Ah, uh, yes, a uh, a classic. Um, actually, I shouldn't play that playlist, but whatever, it's fun. Okay. Uh, uh, how's my water? I need to refresh. Let me see the water. Yeah, Crisis Core. Underrated story, underrated game. It's too bad no one can play it. <laughs> Unless you got an emulator. <laughs> or you have a PSP still. They need to put- they need to bring that to Switch. If they bring that to Switch, I am buying it full price. And I'm gonna play hard mode. And I'm gonna stream it. Did I get a haircut? I did get a haircut. How'd you notice? Uh, my, my hair is a lot different from what it was yesterday. Got it today. You can play on a PSP, what are you talking about? Alright. Shall we continue? 161. Time management! Hey, we did pretty well on the first set. We got, uh, what, 20 minutes onto the boss, so let's do uh, the next set. Anyone upset that Feast is getting deleted? No? Yeah, me neither. Yo, what's up, Quad? Hey, Chu Hai, so far so good. At least the song is good. Oh look, Linworms. We're pulling right away, not even thinking about it. <laughs> I flex like Gloom, no HP down and uh, no items, yeah. See, this is Serenity, we haven't seen one in a bit. Actually, I think I did see one on the other floor. We're pulling this Linworm here uh, because he is blocking me from the other room. Although I need to watch the second one. Second one moves, so now I'm gonna go back this way. Oh, out of range. So I want to leave that Linworm alive because it's a little unnecessary for me to kill it. Because he's not really blocking me right now in any direction. So we'll go this way. This one definitely gets pulled because he is blocking me for sure. I can't get to this room unless I pull him. So we're gonna get we're gonna pull that. We're gonna see what's over here. Uh, there is nothing over here, so I'm not gonna continue going in this direction. We're gonna actually bring it back now, still hiding, and we're gonna try to proceed over to the rooms that are to the east. Now the Linworm is actually giving me a problem because I cannot traverse. I can't go to that next room. So I think I pull him next just so I can get to that room clean. Because uh, I may not actually make it back too. So we're gonna pull him. Next pull. If you keep improving, nothing can stop you. Yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to look to improve. You, you think I wouldn't, but I'm always looking to try to test the limits, you know? Always gotta try stuff. You gotta do the risk assessment. Got a posture, let's go. Okay, right now, the two enemies here are not really giving me a problem. So we're going to just move along and see what else we got. Uh, I can get this chest, it looks like. I could not. But it's okay, we got a lot. We got lucky. Okay, this room is a little spooky because of the potential wall traps. So I'm not going to go over there. Um, so who's going to fight this first? Potion here. Oh. Oopsie. Okay. Alright, we're going. Ah uh, yes, the uh the glorious uh the glorious corner trap right over there. Uh let's pull the crocodile from this room and see if I can actually get this chest. I'm oh, sorry, the uh alligator, my bad. I put the marker down, that tends to be where the trap is on that location. I could get that chest. But I need to wait for that crocodile to move. And he's not moving. <laughs> he's... Okay, there we go, he moved. He might turn around though. If he turns around, I can't get this chest. Okay. Okay, respecting. Resolution, respecting. Alright, we're cool. Let's go. Might be able to get to the room that's to the east. 
I still need to do a couple kills here. Um, I'm going around the other way. Cold. Sight, that's good. Alright, so we're gonna pull the crocodile. Gonna gravity, weight, leg raise here. Hey Axe, how are you? That's a landmine. Oh, he's too far. Alright, dead, let's go. Four and a half minutes on the first floor. Pretty good. And we checked all the chests. All the rooms located. All the chests checked. Four and a half minutes. Witching will keep that just in case. Uh, I'll pull this one and I will aggro on purpose, no problem. Okay, let's move. We're gonna navigate and kill at the same time. So we wanna see what's going on. We do have a patrol that is floating around. It is going away from me, so I can actually chase it just to see what's in this next room. There is a chest in this room, so I would like to get to the chest. I'm actually going to move myself into this room. The patrol will turn around. He will not look in my direction. He will for a split second, but he's not going to get because he's a little bit too far. Okay, so now we can check this chest. It is another witching. I'm actually going to use the witching right now. And then we're going to pull the patrol. So the patrol is not a big deal. He's not that bad, although he does do slow. So slow means your DPS is going to be a lot, you know, it's going to be slower, so it's just a, it's just a longer kill. But since we're <clears throat> trying to get through the room anyway, you can consider that a time save instead of having to wait for it to walk out, or having to fight it straight up, because we had the free witness. I might aggro- oh, never mind, I'm not going to aggro. Got to steal back from using it on the boss, so that's good. I'm gonna pull the croc at the alligator here. We're gonna be fine along this side. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. That is a special enemy, that is proximity aggro. Uh, I didn't even see him. I'm glad you got your cap back, Shinano. Checking chest. Alteration, we'll use the alteration. No hesitation there. Uh, we're gonna pull the Lin Worm. <clears throat> I'm checking my distance away from the special enemy. It looks risky, so I'm gonna stay here. There's a small chance I will aggro, and just for the sake of safety, and this Lin Worm's not necessarily going to kill me, I will stay here for a bit. But I might aggro that. Now, if I do. It's kind of going to be the same as fighting a Mimic, so it, it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. Alright, so now I'm going to open... Nope, patrol coming in. So let's, um, let's deal with the patrol. Because there's a potential he walks in my direction, so it's either I'm waiting for that patrol to come along, or I just pull. True. Well, I'm not here for points, though. There's the slow ball. Oh, I'm sorry, the ice dispenser. So our, our, our GCD is slower, although you can kind of cheese it on Machinist by doing Heat Blast. Oh! Can't do a combo, nice. I'm sprinting and I'm pulling. I haven't checked one room and I'm gonna check it now. Okay. There's a chest here. Tight, 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 tight. Push in. Push in again. Checking. Serenity. Don't need it. Alright, so now we've mostly cleared the exit already, so we can just pull this down. Push in here. 
Uh, now that's gonna aggro, I think. So, um... We'll see. If I need to pull it, I'll pull it. My sprint is coming back up, but I have no burst for it. It's not gonna delete me. It's, it'll hurt a bit, but it's fine. It's just, I can't, I can't do anything to it. Like, I can't crowd control or anything. So we're gonna try to see if we can get across and open with the sprint here. I think it aggros, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Let's go. Ten minutes, actually nine minutes into the first two. <clears throat> You found Livia. Uh, she is more dangerous. She is the most dangerous thing in Deep Dungeon. She is horrible to fight. Wyver needs to go first. Wyver aches proximity, so the priority kill here is the Wyver. Now I'm gonna... Okay, so now we're going to the right. Check the chest. We go along to the left. Corgans. Raising. We have insurance. And the patrol's coming in. So it's really good. Alteration was really nice to us, but even if we got Nimix, it was okay. Uh... Check. No chests from them, damn. Alright, let's proceed. I'm gonna pull the uh, alligator here. I don't know if there's a special enemy that spawns 191. You think there must be, but I don't think there is. Yeah, it'd be interesting if there has, actually is a super special one. I want to get to this chest, so looking at this room right now, I can get behind... Nope, so let's pull this one. So right now I cannot get to that chest, because the alligator just moved, uh, the crocodile just moved in, the, in a bad spot. I'd have to wait for so long. So we're gonna pull this right now. I can also be a little bit more careless about my pulls, guys. The reason is is because I have the raising, so we can be a little bit more riskier with the with the consideration of like you know taking a death or something. So the the crocodile is now facing the wall. I can get this chest no problem. Again, aside from the discussion of trying to move fast, getting through the floors, I really really want you guys to notice that we are still checking all of the rooms, all of the chests. Very very important. Because if you just don't get Poemanders, then you're just eventually going to bleed out on time. You need the help from the from the Poemanders. We use the alteration, we save time, because they were Corrigans. We got three free kills off the bat. If they were Mimics, okay, whatever. But, you know. Yo, my playlist is like, long live PvP apparently. Do, do, do. Uh, that is a treasure room, and we're gonna have to kill things in that treasure room because a lot of it is proximity. So also, I do want you guys to make a note of this. Do you see the way the enemies are facing in a treasure room? Do you notice that they're all facing towards the left side? That is technic- I don't know if you would call that a glitch. It's just like a mechanic. So because their hitboxes are so big, they literally spawn on top of each other. And so, for the most part, they're not moving unless you start pulling things or start moving them. So they're kind of stuck there. Um, I'm gonna pull this one next. So if you watch, watch that room. I mean, we've been observing enemies this entire run, right? It's like, okay, this guy is gonna move here, this guy is gonna move there. These enemies that are facing towards that side are not gonna move. They're just not. Because they're stuck. Now, I will have to pull something out of that room, because the wyverns are probably going to aggro if I try to get across. So we probably will pull something there. Like, this wyver is probably going to aggro at some point. Uh, fortune... I will try to get across the room though, because I'm only going to aggro the wyver. Okay, we're safe. Good. This is blocking me another room here. 
Um, let me check this chest real fast. Serenity. I don't know if I want to go over there. So let's try to get across the stream right now. Okay, we're clear. Oh, why we're dead getting, but that's okay. I am kind of stuck. I cannot move. I've kind of put myself in a little bit of a tricky spot right now. The Smilodon needs to move really soon. This is the difference between me hiding and me not fighting right now. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we got through that room, not a problem. Steal. So that's kind of an, a very important detail when it comes to treasure rooms and how things like aggro and whatnot. Most people would look at that and be like, fuck me, let's rage this, fortune rage, let's get the hell out of here. Well, I got out of there with literally two aggro. Uh, we are probably not going to do anything else in that room, however, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to check the chest first. Found the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slow ball coming in. So in this instance, like I, I, I stress this idea of always check the chest, blah blah blah. Well, in this in this specific situation, it's going to be a lot more difficult to check a chest because of all the enemies blocking it. So, you know, as long as we're moving along the floors, etc., that's not bad. I didn't use the alteration, so let me do that now. Uh, hey, it's Meiji! Oh, it's Meiji, guys. This is the Deep Dungeon Bible Guide Writer, guys. It's her. It's actually her! What? Yo, Meiji I know is doing palace, so what do we get now? Silver chest suck. I guess you died to a silver chest. Okay, well... <laughs> Meiji does come in here and, and, and doesn't even come in, just hard spoiler alert. It's like, yo, this is what happened to my run. And Koopa Kwan! Hey! Oh man, so many raids today. Thanks guys, holy crap. All the deep dungeon homies coming in. And the best friends coming in too. Uh, welcome in guys. If I can get a shout out for both Meiji and Koopa Kwan, I would greatly appreciate it. What is up? How are your streams? Actually, I, I guess we know what Meiji, what happened to Meiji. Um, but Koopa Kwan, I hope your stream went okay. So I streamed in 81, died to a silver chest, grinded back to 81, and then ended. Cool, so you had the circle of life, Meiji. I see you had the circle of life. You started, you, you ended where you started. Nicely done. Or is it nicely done? I'm not sure. What is that chest? Fortune. Okay, let's go. Thanks for shouting out to guys. So, Koopaquan hasn't said anything yet. That's okay. Thank you, Chayla. I appreciate it. Nick, hello. Welcome in, guys. Andrew's Demon is here. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon. Uh, if you guys don't know, currently in chat, Meiji is the author of the Deep Dungeon Guides, the original Deep Dungeon POTD and Heaven on High Guides. If you are looking at a written guide, you are more than likely reading Meiji's guide, and that is her in the flesh. Or in the VTuber flesh. We got another poop, uh, we got another uh, Corrigan room, so that's awesome. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Tupacuan? How was your stream, man? Did some blue stuff, got the POTD. Hey, wow, a lot of people are getting past the demon. I really like to hear it, let's go. I'm gonna pull this guy right here because he is potentially blocking the exit. So he is my first pull. I just lost the God Prod because of time. Despite raging 189, enemies are spread for me enough to kill. Oh no! Yeah, you still got it. Yeah, that's tough, man. You gotta make sure that you try to plan out a little bit. It's a little bit better than like say um than say um doing a um. Hold on, let's go check the chest first. Then doing, like, say, a Petrify, but... Feels bad. You know what, at least you got experience on the 190 again, but man, it sucks inside here. 
uh, safeties. Okay, Pin, I appreciate that, man. Safety is good. You know what that means, guys. We can respect content. Look at us respecting content. Look at this. Content respecters. Pulling. I didn't cheese this dinosaur, but we can cheese the dinosaur. We will right now. I'm gonna get behind him. He's gonna do a back tonal. And we just keep getting behind him. Easiest, easiest to do on this job. Because I don't- I'm doing instant uh, GCs here, so we can just do this forever. Not forever. He'll eventually stop. He's usually dead by then. Magnus! Yo, Magnus, what's up, man? It begins again Monday? Yo, let's go, man. Alright, I do want to do the Wyver. The Wyver needs to go, because it is kind of blocking me both from the chest and the extra room. And again, we're still managing our kills. Like, the, like I think we haven't really killed an extra enemy for vast majority of this run. Um, so that means we're not wasting time on kills. We're making it very efficient. We are still getting to chests, which is the one that I really want to stress to all of you guys, okay? Checking the chests. Really, really fucking important. Checking, that's a lust. I can check the next chest here. And I want to check the other one that I did not check. Why am I checking the chest? I'm gonna keep repeating this reason. Because we want to fish out the mimics. If it's a mimic, it's okay. Because then it contributes to the exit. It's a flight. Even better. And now we can clean up the rest of this. Just gotta finish SM5 and then we're back in. Hey man, I'm doing SM5 too. Oh my god, I'm loving that game. I am loving, I am living for that game right now. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, if you mock him, he does get bad. Well, we died last time to it, but it's okay, we're better this time. Really? Wait, don't tell me! No, don't spoil me! No, I don't wanna know! I'm not looking chat. Damn, you got far. Um, I feel like I've gotten nowhere in my hard mode run. I feel like I'm still at the very beginning of the game. And I've played, I played that game for like 40 hours already, so... I'm pulling this because, you know, we just kind of don't have anything else to pull right now, we just want to open the exit. So now like that we checked everything, we checked the rooms, we checked all the chests, now we can just kill whatever the hell we want. You need the cookbook? It has a red main soul stone on it? Does that mean I'm gonna whip out like a sword and start being an actual red main? Oh, I got you, okay. Damn, you moved really fast in that game, I swear, I'm... Again, I've played, what, 40 hours of that game, and I'm, like, literally nowhere in the story. Like, I've gotten- I've gone so slow. But I guess it's, you know, I'm- I'm new to the game. I don't know, like, kind of the- maybe, like, the tricks and stuff, but I'm having a blast playing that game at my pace, so... Crocs are- actually, a vast majority of the enemies here are sight or proximity. The crocs are sight, yeah, that's correct. Okay, losing the steel. I finally picked up the strength that I was missing. Let's deal with the Triceratops. The reason why I want the Triceratops is two. One, it's proximity, and two, my steel is dropping. So it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with this with the steel on than without. And because it's proximity, I'm pulling it because it's blocking me from the two rooms that's to this direction. And we are pulling because of certain- we're pulling because of reasons, not because of randomness. And like, again, this is kind of like the weird part about- I think this is the weird translation when you read up Meiji's guide, or you read up the written guides. Because on the guide, it should say that Triceratops are hard. Like, you know, you probably you probably look at this room, and if you follow the guide to the letter, your choice would not be the Triceratops first, it would actually be the, the Mylodon first. But you pull it because of, you know, the proximity reason, not necessarily because it's an easier enemy. I'm gonna pull this one because this is proximity as well, and it's blocking me from the chest. Stopping the Mucin. Gonna heal here. Oh, there's a question about the Water Snake? Okay, when we get there. Oh, ask it to me when we get to 69. Boy! Boy, Chin will use it. Do look at his pizza? What kind of pizza are they... What kind of pizza are they teaching you? I think this is flighted, so we're actually gonna try to make our way to the exit now. Mm 
Do an old SMT gun series around P1. Okay, got it. Okay, so you know your stuff with SMT. I've never, I've never done the series at all, so I'm, I'm just like absorbing as much as I can, and I'm just having so much fun. I don't need to go to that room yet because there's no gold chest in there, and this I think is a gold chest, so we will get to this one now. Lost. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to kill the Mylodon in the exit. Even though it's not giving me a problem, it is the easier thing to pull. So we'll fight it here, just eliminate it out of the out of the, out of the room, and then we can uh, proceed. No meat. Top with tomatoes and cheese baked in a- oh, so it's like a simple pizza, okay. So it's like a basic- oh, I mean, I guess it- I guess it doesn't say basil. Well, I don't know what the ingredients are though, I didn't actually pay attention to that. I guess you can base it off what- what you use to make it. Oh, it says basil- oh, so it's like a basic it's like a basic margarita though, okay. One... Two... Demon Strength to leave this on chain, so I see what's safe enough. Gotcha, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, this was not flighted, okay. Let's pull you. One, two, three, four. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, I got the fire. I got the the wild fire before you got the stone skin on. Tried to see if I could finish that whole burst out before uh, the stone skin went on, but that way. It has tomato. It says tomatoes here. Top with tomatoes and cheese. Okay, let's go. What is that other chest? Oh, lust, lust. Okay. Walking into 167 with 34 minutes remaining. Really good on time. We are blinded. I am gonna steal. Because the fights are gonna take a lot longer. Okay, so I see a Triceratops with proximity. I see another Triceratops with proximity. We're gonna have to pull both of them. Because this one is blocking me from the right side, the other one's blocking me from the left side. So both of these need to go and, and, and get killed. Do gold chest spawn less in... Um... It's RNG. I have felt like that before, cynically. I have felt like that before. I know exactly what you're saying. Because I actually had that complaint a long time ago. But it really is just RNG. Um, so it feels like it, but yeah. I don't know if it's a, if it's always the case, but there are definitely situations when it feels like it. This is a patrol, and it's also proximity. So I decided to pull it. Now right now, I actually have an opportunity to get to certain places in this room. So I'm going to check the chest right now. Good, we got a sight. I'm gonna actually priority pull the patrol here. So I know where the exit is and I also... So based on the site that we just got from the chest, all I know is that I, I don't need to move past these three rooms. So I don't need to check all the way to the north side on the, on the, on the right, on the left top side. Because there's a silver chest and nothing else. Completely unnecessary for me to do that. I feel like I'm in the... I'm, I'm, I'm in deja vu because these patrols keep coming at me. Pretty funny. Okay. Kill this first. Okay, now we're pulling this one here. So now, like, the original thought process was kill the Triceratops, we killed it first. Kill the other one because it blocks me from the left side. Because we got this site, I may not need to deal with that Triceratops anymore, potentially. Uh, what I want to do now after this patrol is I want to check the exit. And there is one enemy that could give me a problem by the exit, so we want to prioritize that one. It's also blocking me from the of the chest as well, so we're pulling this one first. Because, let's say our time is really bad, which it isn't, but let's say our time is really bad, we can choose to skip the exit to the stuff to the left side and go right to the exit, instead of having to kill something else. 
I hope they, like, that part made sense, and I'm killing this thing because it's giving me a problem. One gold chest out of them, yikes, dude. Yeah, it's, it's common. I wouldn't say it's, um, uncommon for that to happen. Yeah, what witch he said, by the way, is true. Okay, so we're open. So, this Triceratops gives me... Did, um, oh, that's not happening. I'd have to potentially kill this Triceratops and the one in that room to get that chest, so we're skipping. We'd have to kill two enemies. If I only had to kill one, debatable. But we, only, we had to kill two, so I'm actually skipping. Date me, please. Thanks to Prime Gaming. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. A lot of new subs coming in today. Really appreciate it, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Your headphones died, but you can't actually hear me say that, Rip. 168. Pulling. He's blocking me from these rooms, so he's just getting pulled immediately. I'm not even thinking about it. You have two batteries? Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Checking the chest. Give a million touch hurt. This dino, I don't need to pull him. He's off in the corner, contemplating life. And it's in a dead end, so I just- I don't need to deal with him. He can stay alive, he's fine. Uh, let's check the next room coming up here. I can check this chest no problem, this is not the exit, so I do not need to pull. No need to pull here. Intuition. Awesome. We are moving. Now I want to get to the next room before I probably decide to pull right now. Ray Choi! Hey, how are you doing? Hope things are good. Alteration, I will use it for 169. I don't care. Uh, don't need to pull, don't need to pull. Incoming patrol. This was flighted, by the way, so let's check the chest first in case it's a mimic. It is not, it's a steal. Let's pull. Monitor shopping is on flow for Black Friday! Oh, what what monitor are you going for? Are you gonna go for a 4K or... Just whatever is available? I have an Asus monitor and I have been very happy with that brand. I am very, very happy with Asus monitors. Um, I now have- I now own four Asus monitors and they have been... Awesome. Highly recommend if you're, if you're kind of brand shopping. Pulling this Mylodon because it is blocking me from that chest. And I'd like to check the chest. Two. Now here, if you can see, I am moving along this this floor because I've already walked this path. It's like we already traced the path with our feet, which means I know there's no trap, so I can be I don't have to be too risky about it. And you know, we still have the we still have the raising on, so that's also helpful. Too. Okay, so like four. You like new LG? That's fair. I I started with Aces as a first monitor, first external, and it was great to me. No complaints. It still works. Like it's I've had it maybe now for like four or five years, and it is still a beast. So when I got my monitors for the current computer, I went Aces. Like no questions asked. I just went Aces. And I'm really happy with my decision. Uh, thanks for that follow, Seren 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 Gay Seren Gay. Lol. Thanks for follow, man. You're looking for... okay. Because my broke one... Oh, okay, yeah, though actually that is what I have, Rain Choi. I have an Asus, uh, 140, one, one, uh, 1440p at 144. That is actually what I have. And I'm really happy with it. It actually just came out last year too. It's, a, it's almost a, ma a new model that just released in like July of last year. And that was around the time I built my PC. So I went with the brand new monitors. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's uh that's a way to, uh, to uh, that's a way to kill the monitor. Holy shit. Oh, I almost used the purity instead of unfortunately. All right, we walked into this floor. Look at how much time we guys we have, guys. You want to talk about time management? We managed our time pretty well, I'd say. We're going to walk into the boss almost similar to how it was last uh last set. This is the exit. Uh, okay. Let's try to see what the other rooms are gonna be. So let's actually move along. Actually, no, not yet, not yet. Check the 
the chest. Serenity, don't need it. Uh, we do have Mimics here. So I will clear out the Mimics because we don't care about Mimics. They're not that threatening. Especially because I have Steel. We got 16. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's a silver. 18. Uh, let's. Actually, I can pull the next mimic because my interject is ready. Yeah, it's a dead end. It wants a death trap first. When it takes a while to infatuate, it means it wants a death trap first, so... Did anyone figure out why why does death trap first? I don't know. Is there like a is there a way to actually like figure that out? That's actually an interesting question. I I don't know. It's just really a random chance for that to happen. A very very random and off chance. You know what I originally thought, Witchy? I originally thought that it would only happen from the mimics that spawned on the ground, as opposed to the ones you spawn from the chest. And I distinctly remember in either Palace or Heaven on High, I spawned a mimic from the chest. And it did death trap first. I'm like, <laughs> like never mind. I've just never seen this before until right now. <laughs> so, oh well, that's not good. I forgot about that trap over there. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, trap. My, the chances of me stepping on a trap when I've actually slided are, are apparently higher than normal. So you know, uh, that's a witching. Okay, I've, I've raised him. Um, let's see. So I have a Witching. That is what? An Alteration, which I didn't need to use. I guess we'll do this one. One. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, there's a chest here. I didn't check this one, but... I did run into a trap. I forgot it was there. I was playing in like the spawn room, so I was loose along the walls and I forgot about the trap there. And I did recognize it, I saw it when I walked by, I knew it was there, I just forgot. June, what's up man? How you doing? Happy Friday my friend. Is that a Koopo emote? <laughs> and a Selene emote, yay. Thanks thanks for combining two of my favorite streamers together. Yeah. Well, if I didn't recognize the Selene, I think someone would kill me IRL. Okay, we are out. Check. Intuition. So now we have an interesting situation here. Um, I'm gonna go right now. Also, big shout outs to Mr. June Clancy. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a busy boy when Endwalker drops with his guides and everything. Still playing retro apparently. Um, okay, hey, what's up, Setsu? So here's an interesting thing that we have right now. I have three minutes of steel right now. So the play that I want to go for is only use a, a, a steel but not a strength because I can kill this boss within just a bonus steal. So that's what we're going to actually go for. But I have to be very, 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 very uh, attentive to my steal. We need to pay attention to when that shit drops, because if I miss it, then I'm going to be fucked, and we're going to die very quickly. Alright, now it's time to do the puddle dance. So what I want to do is I'm going to get weighted here, right? 
We want to be kind of near the puddle by the time I get to the other thingy. So I'm gonna, I'm, oh, we're gonna take damage here. I'm gonna sprint now. Now he's gonna drop that, and after this drops, I want to get to this puddle. Right about here. I want to get to this puddle here. Not the best position, but the timing was not the greatest. So now we want to recycle towards the left side. So we make another, we make another run around. We're gonna lose the weight, no problem. We're gonna make a little bit of a, a, a you know, shorter circle. So that, that thing goes off, I want to get over to the puddles now. Also worth noting, the puddles, yes, there's shit on the ground, but they don't do damage to me if I'm walking over them. I will take damage if I stand in that telegraph, but only the boss benefits off of that, off of that, um, off of the, uh, puddles. So now we're moving. I'm gonna make a wider circle because I have a less, uh, I have a less weight. He drops the puddle, and now we, uh, he drops the AoE, and now I get to the puddle. And now we start getting the stacking of the puddles here. Boom, perfect. This is ideal simply because we're definitely kiting, and because we're kiting, uh, we're mitigating damage because he has to chase me this whole time. I do see the steel. Now I can actually pop the steel right now because it doesn't look like I need every second of the steel. We definitely need a steel though. I'm gonna hold a second. Boom, there goes the AoE. We get around here. We park the puddle. Now I'm probably gonna get... I'm probably gonna get, um... I'm probably gonna get weighted on this next GCD, it was fine. So this is how you do the kiting machinist strap. Oh, no, we still got another, we still got another cycle. It is a lot nicer to your sustaining potions on this fight, for sure, that's, that is for sure. Okay. Going here. Puddle drop. Now I should get weighted on this one. Go lose the weight. Now we want to be a little bit of a smaller circle here. Mitigate here. Sprinting now. Oh! Okay, I did sprint. One, two, get to the puddle. Three, four, five. Okay, here. Trying to shatter my first one. Cost four deaths? Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's just the cadence you kind of want to get used to, so hopefully that explanation helps. Once I see that circle AoE drop, the electrogenesis, I start moving into where the puddles are. But outside of that, when the puddle, like post puddle right here, I just continue making that circle around the arena. Uh, I think that's fairly consistent, hopefully easy to kind of pick up, I hope, maybe. Okay, we're gonna wait for that puddle. The wider the circle, because we're not getting weighted anymore. Puddle, uh, that circle goes out, we go straight into the puddles here. Park him. Boom, there you go. You wanna see the, you wanna see the melee run? I think we will. If I clear Machinist, okay, that is the that is the that is the the deal. If I clear Machinist, then I will strongly consider doing specifically Ninja. I don't mind. I do enjoy Ninja, so I wouldn't mind going Ninja again. Okay, we're parking the puddle. Wide circle. Oh. We're moving too fast for the ball. Spike a little bit. Okay, we're good. Get him into this. Park. Good. Yeah, it's a great strategy. Um, I did credit the person. I think it's a... Uh... Oh, I need to spin eventually. I keep forgetting his name. I know it starts with an A. Uh, I keep forgetting his full name, but I did credit him in the video when I first did it. The Caldo, I believe. He first showed it to me, and I was able to give it a try one time, and I, it, it's a really nice try. I, I think I prefer it now for range classes. Well, for physical range.
Waiting for the AoE coming out. Boom. Getting back to the puddles here. One, two, three, four, five. Pop. Wider circle. Summoner could, yeah, with the up. Well, it's a little bit trickier with the Ruin 3 if you want to do a lot of more Ruin 3s, but you could. Although the shielding really helps. Uh, honestly, the shielding is so helpful though with that, with that job, so. Okay, now we do a wider circle here because um, I am not going to get gravity anymore. Pop and potion. Back on the puddle. Nice pretty puddle. Perfect spot there. Okay, 4%. No strength! We did not use the strength. So we saved the strength on this on this thing because we had that bonus steal. That was a you know a very specific situation. We had the bonus steal. Now if I did not have a steal, I would have strength stealed and not lost it. But we used the, actually I, I definitely could have probably gotten away without the lust, but you know we did that out of safety. But yeah, so there you go. That's 170. Nice and easy. All right. So this is now Behemoth going in. We're getting into Behemoth. Cross the fingers I don't screw up Behemoth. Um, we are doing Healing Shad on Behemoth. That is the one I'm good at. That's the one I know of. So we're going to do that strategy. Again, I know Tincture is the favorite one by a lot of people, but there are people who just simply cannot do Tincture. So we're doing it for those people. That's all. Let's go right in. So far, so good, man. Uh, 171, I do like using a Raising here. I agree, Witchy. I did try Tincture and it was very uncomfortable. And we almost died, but we did it. Alright, let's talk about- let's continue talking the discussion about time management, shall we? Damels need to die, because Damels are proximity. I probably have to pull both of them. I already located a Cyclops, so I know that's gonna be coming down the, the chute soon. So we're probably gonna pull him after this Damel. I do want to eventually check that chest, but let's just kill this first. Nothing in that chest is gonna is gonna be so bad unless it's a rage that's gonna save me a tremendous amount of time. So killing this first is not a big problem. Uh, Lala hug, thanks for follow welcome in. Good to catch you here. I end up doing tincture because I forgot to set up my well-fed macro and being lazy. It's fair. Hey, whatever works, man. Pull in the cyclops. One, two, three. Four, five, immortal! Hey man! Mistimed my arrival. Still nine floors, Sag. <laughs> hey, it's okay, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the 10 months. Holy shit, dude. I can't believe it's been 10 months, man. Thanks so much for that support. Hope things are well on your end. Hope life is going well for you. Thank you so much, mortal. Steel! Picked up Steel. We are pulling this Dommel, so I don't gotta get like bottlenecked over in the next room. Next room has a Dommel, I'd probably pull that next. Been very busy IRL. Yeah, I mean I don't see you around as often, right? So I, I hope it's a good thing, and I hope that does mean it's a good thing. So, you know, there's good busy, there's bad busy, and good busy is always good busy. I've been on my end, I've actually been pretty busy on my end, like good busy, you know, just doing stuff on the content creating side and just other projects that are kind of doing things, so it's been a good busy. And then also super busy with SMT5, <laughs> but yeah. Um, a lot of Dommels here, so let's pull this one. Opens me up to this room over here. Uh, hanging out with people, lots of friends in town, hanging out with people, good times, awesome. That is great. Um, friend visits New York for a week. Actually, I'm gonna be in the. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be around around the parts of the New York tomorrow for for a little uh, family get together. Hell yeah, uh, Aki Yan. Thanks for follow up, man. Be Thanksgiving. No, actually, it's a birthday party. 
Uh, it is my cousin's uh, little kiddo's first birthday party, so we're celebrating that. I guess technically, it, it technically it would be pre-Thanksgiving because we're also not seeing my cousin for Thanksgiving. Does that make sense? So we're not seeing them, so I guess you can say it's pre-Thanksgiving, but but it's more because it's their birthday. So yeah, happy birthday. So it'll be nice to get together. Okay, so we're not pulling anything from here because the exit first- wait, the exit's not here, right? Hold on, let me take a look. Uh, it is not here. So pulling anything from this section is unnecessary because I still need to check the other side of the- of the- of the floor. So we don't want to pull anything from there. I want to pull- I want to save this Dalmel from jumping off the cliff, so we're going to pull him right now. Uh, and then we'll see where the exit is. Janu, hey, thanks for being here. Have a good one, man. Hope you had a good time on stream, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Yep, Thanksgiving is the 25th of November, that is Thursday. I typically stream on Thanksgiving, but I usually keep it a little loose on my end. But I do typically stream on Thanksgiving. Um, just because my schedule just works out. Usually I'm all done with the family stuff by the time my time comes up. So... Uh, exit is... Oh, well that's a trap. Exit is this away, so let's go over here. I'm gonna look in the traps, they haven't been learning traps. Sight. Okay. We have a lot of bandage snatch, so I'm actually gonna hold on to my sprint in case I need to pull one. Um, polar bear I would prefer to pull, however, so we're pulling a polar bear first. Forever alone at Thanksgiving. Did I ever tell that story though? I mean, I, I guess it depends on the person. There's a story that I read, I think it was Facebook, but it was actually a good story for once. It was, um... It was just a, a person on a train, like there was like a, there was like a train with like a, with like a bar. No, no, no it was like a restaurant, it was like a restaurant. Um, trying my very first solo soon! Hey, good luck. And I hope we can get, give you some great information here. Okay, so we have a problem. I actually need to wait for this Bandersnatch to move so I can tell the story while we're waiting. Um, it was it was just at a restaurant bar. Uh, I guess a younger person sees an older man at the bar, um, just drinking or whatever. You know, not not particularly looking sad or anything, but I guess you know just the just the idea that you see someone by themselves. Maybe the person just felt bad for them, so they go in and he goes. Uh, are you alone tonight? You know, just to ask him, maybe you want to start a conversation. But the guy, the older gentleman goes, No, I'm, I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm by myself. Which is such a great response, you know. It's not alone. I'm by yourself. Been alone for the last seven years? Damn. Movie family moved away? What did you do? I'm kidding. Alright, no abilities. Let's see how we do on this one. So I did not want to fight the Bandersnatch because it would take me more time to do so, so that's why I decided not to. Now, this Dommel's not giving me a problem, so I will pass on it. However, this Cyclops is going to give me a problem, so I will pull it. Didn't shower! Well, it happens. Hey, what's up, Epic? Uh, not much. We're having a pretty good run today. We're up in the higher floors. So I'm pretty happy about it. We're actually going to get to Behemoth soon. So um, we'll see how that goes. You know, Behemoth's always a is always a journey. We'll see how it goes today. See, so you spent, yeah, I know. Everyone goes to everyone goes to Arizona, Florida. Where else do they go? Gotta go to those places. Uh, data plus logic. Ooh, oh, I am in a straight line here. Okay. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I probably will actually pull the Dommel now. The reason I pulled the Dommel is because it is blocking me from the chest. Um, it is proximity, so we're gonna take care of it. Ability down is a bit of a time loss, but it's okay as long as we keep moving, keep going. Also, something just dropped. Is that a- oh, that's a gold chest. Okay, we'll check it in a sec. You're in Arizona. Yeah, you mentioned that. This is bad, dude. Another Cyclops coming in, that was the Cyclops I saw earlier, so it might indicate to me that this might be a straight line in terms of the room. Um, we'll pull it next, but I'm gonna check these chests first. That is an alteration, we'll use it. I think I will deal with the Cyclops before I check the chest, because it might give me a problem if it's a Mimic, so let's take care of it now. 
I believe there's so much DPS in Machine, it's, it's annoying. It is annoying, but I guess when you look at it in a, um, if you look at it in like the grand scheme of the run, losing like a minute or two because of, losing maybe two to three minutes because of no abilities, as long as you make it up somewhere else, it's not that bad. Uh, and of course there's like worse things to deal with, right? If you get like no ability gloom, no ability, no items, you know, that's bad. But, you know, there's worse fates we can get, so you kind of just take, take the lesser evil. Hey, that sounds awesome, Yolandi. I'm I'm excited for you for that. Yo, welcome back, Logan. Oh, I yeah, honestly, a ninja, I probably just surrendering no items, not even a question. Or like rage it or some shit. Like it's just stupid. Um, resolution. Oh, I'm request gamer. That too, but just the fact you don't even have your mudra is such a time loss, you know. Okay, we're bypassing it. We watched this guy just move. So I don't need to pull these two. I want to pull this down Mel because it is blocking that chest. Uh, we are also- okay, we found the exit. And we're checking this room just really quickly. Nothing here. <laughs> so now I probably move with the Dom Mel as the pull next. Um, and then we- I see a polar bear over there, so that's probably the one after. So I've already been planning uh, what my pulls are going to be. Dom Mel, polar bear, we have two polar bears to the right side. I don't want to pull the Bandersnatch like I said. Ideally, I don't want to deal with Bandersnatch, so we're not pulling them. That is really close for comfort. This thing is going to hit me kind of hard. Or I can just dodge, that's fine too. Who needs who needs, uh, who needs to worry about getting hit when you just dodge? Okay, that's dead. So now let's deal with the other Dommel because it is blocking the chest. And also, you know, it, it, it is also blocking me to getting to the exit, so that is the preferable pull. We don't want to deal with the polar bears in the other room because there's nothing there. No chest, no exit. I don't want to touch them. I want to clear up the exit, I want to clear up the path to the exit. Again, what, what you're looking to do is you're trying to make sure that your kills are efficient. If you decide to pull these polar bears, the ones that are right here in front of me, okay, yeah, they're easier to kill, but then what else is over by the exit? If you have to kill something else thereafter, that's a waste of time. And these are the things that add up to time loss. These are the things that will be bad when you get to those higher floors and you're like, Oh my god, what do I do now? I'm running out of time. That's what saves you for that, from that fate. Uh, there's a chance that Bandersnatch gets me, so I'm actually going to wait for it for a second because it's going to move any second. <coughs> okay. Now we check the chest. If it's a Mimic, it's whatever. It is a Flight. Very good. Um, so that's gonna save us time. So this floor that cost us some time because of the, um, because of the ability, we were saving because of the flight. I'm gonna pull this back because I know the Bandersatch just moved. I'm gonna bring him back over across this room so I have a little bit more space to run around. If I need to kill something else, this also puts me in a position to pull from this other room. So again, we've already planned out what our pulls are gonna be. I am avoiding the Bandersnatch on purpose, and we have two really cool polar bears that I can fight. And now we just also need to keep an eye on this Bandersnatch. We just need to keep an eye on this one, because I just need to know uh, when he's moving, etc. So I know I can get to the exit fast when it opens up. So we just saw him move, so I would go along the... Uh, around... Yeah, so we go around this way, because he just moved. Not moving for about 10 to 15 seconds. Every time an enemy moves, they will not move again for a little bit, 10 to 15, maybe even 20. So that's why I have no risk, no worry about this part, because he just moved. I do have to worry about this one, and watch that trap that could be over here. But let's just go into the thing, it's fine. Oh, not fine. Okay, we're good. Oh, not fine. Okay, well, let's just uh, deal with it now. A little risky on my part. Uh, now I need to be careful with my HP here. I have mapped out this floor, so I can do the small, the, the, the run around here. Just need to be careful overall about my HP. I do have a super potion here. Make sure that sustaining gets back. Oh, oh, I am typing. GG. So this right now, this is a waste of time. But it's only like the first one we've done, so it's not terrible. If you find yourself constantly making this happen, that's where your time is gonna bleed. Also notice that I'm really not taking damage, so you know, we're just running around in a circle. Okay. This would have cost you a witching, really? You would have decided to witching here, Loken. Interesting. Okay. 
No problem. If I was to drop under 50%, Loken, I would have witching, but I would have had like this like line where I made that decision. But everything was pretty was pretty fine, so I didn't want to go crazy. I believe this is a triple threat in the sense of um it's altered, flighted, and and uh altered, flighted, and um half things. Um, hey, Colin! Hey, Komiji, hope that you've been having a wonderful night, Selena Jaja. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the four months of continued support. That is awesome. Thank you so much for that. Um, really means a lot, so thank you. Uh, I do want to point out, I did not- Oh, what the fuck, dude? He's keep stepping on these stupid traps. I did not steal. So the reason I did not steal is because I can still fight things without steel. You know? Like, okay, yeah, we get the steel, let's use it. Well, think about how this whole floor has gone so far. We've definitely dealt with a lot of things without the steel. So it's gonna be more beneficial to me to have the steel longer on the next floor than it is to have it on this floor when I can just fight things really easily. Stuff like that is 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 a is a matter. It it, it matters. Oh shit, I'm on, I'm on, I'm in a bad position. Okay. Check the chest. Uh, we check this one. That's an affluence, we use it. Not because it's a good decision, is I can't get kiting down. Always seems to stay with you. But you're playing Legacy, right, Loken? Uh, Purity. Push the next floor, what if bad debuff steal will be more valuable? What if bad debuffs- bad debuff steal will be- Well, that's also true. If you get a bad debuff on the next floor, having a longer duration steal is even of more value. That, I think that's what you said. I hope so, King. I'm still here, so we're okay, but you never know, because I disconnected at like 2 a.m., so I don't know, but we'll see. All, I, all I'm gonna do is just play the game and hope for the best. You're, oh, he, you're agreeing. Got it, got it, got it. I do want to check this chest. Polar Bear just moved, so that means I could. That intuition is once again on a potential trap, so that's like, that's a no-go. Uh, got the raising back, so that's brilliant, and now we go to the next one. Corgi, how are you doing, by the way? Good to see you. We got blinded, or abilities, one or the other. Uh, it is abilities, okay. So it's that. this is where the steel is actually beneficial again. Uh, we get another steel, so we'll refresh it later. Uh, I can sneak this chest behind the Bandersnatch. Fortune. So now, look at this room. We have the Dalmel, which is great, but there's nothing else in this room, so I'm not pulling this room. We have a Wisson coming up. Which is interesting because I can't stop his ability. I'm gonna pull this Dom Mel now. That is a dead end, so I do want to check that room eventually, but I will have to avoid the Wissens right now. Um, because I can't stop his horrendous blast, and I don't think I have enough DPS to kill him before he does it, so... Did I sneak that? His, his line of vision was pointed away from me. So that's actually one of the safer chest checks right there. Is that he just wasn't looking in that direction. So I'm just I'm just checking the chest through his body. Uh, you have to you have to visualize like his eyes. The the front of his face is where that conal is for the sight aggro. You know? It's not his like the center of his body, it's like in front of his body. Uh, at least that's the visual I have when I look for these uh, when I look for the conal vision. Purity. Let's pull the lion. I can deal with the lion with steel on. Yeah, yeah, like a conal AoE. Yeah, actually, perfectly like a conal AoE. You think of it like a conal AoE. So it's actually, if I'm standing dead center of the enemy, then it will, it will aggro, because the conal AoE does start from the center of the enemy, although it's very, very thin and then widens out. So that's how you think of it like that. So I was not in that conal, therefore, I did not aggro. So now what I want to do is I want to clear my way to uh, the next couple rooms because there's nothing else here, right? No exit here, no nothing. So I want to make sure that I get across the room, so we're going to start pulling things. Uh, also, this is where, this is the conversation that we had a little bit earlier again. This is something that Savix asked earlier. You know, what do you do when there's a steel right here? What's your decision? Do you open it right away? Do you come back to it? Earlier, we came back to it. There was a strength on the floor, we ran all the way back to get that strength. 
in this scenario, what I actually want to do is I want to get closer and closer to opening the exit. But once I have to actually make my way towards the next room, if I run out of things to kill, that is when I want to pop the steel regardless if the exit is open, because otherwise I have to navigate through this wolf again, which could take time. So the moment I make the decision to go to the next room, that is when I will decide to use the steel. So I want to kill this lion. I want to kill the Domel behind me. And then if I need to kill anything else, I'll poke the two lions that are by the exit room. The Wissens, if you just noticed, went to that room and turned around. What does that mean? That's a dead end. You know now that's a dead end, so there's no more rooms, there's only five rooms. That intel you picked up because you're just watching the you're just watching the enemies do their thing. You know, like you would just not know otherwise. They could have just veered off to another room, but that's a dead end, so it turned back around. So I know there's only five rooms in here. So now that decision becomes clear that I kill the things here, I make my way to the next room. And then we just kill whatever's left over. And hopefully, I don't have to deal with the worm, the the, the fucking the, the wolf. So again, this is where the whole like that that thought process of what to pull. It isn't it isn't just random. There is very very like logical reasons to each pull. Now, not to say they're perfect. They're perfect. But to me, it makes sense, and that's where we kind of produce a little bit of consistency with the runs. Uh, Red Hulk God, thanks for that follow. Welcome in. I'm tempted to pop this, pop this thing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this steal regardless if I've opened this exit or not, because I do not want to come back here due to that wolf. I also do want to focus on the wolf to see where it's moving, because it hasn't moved yet. Or, or it has, but I just haven't been paying attention. Uh, okay, so now we steal. Oh! Hmm. Ah, see, that's a little annoying. First of all, I, I will have the purity, but second, like, I could have popped this first and then did the steal, but whatever, it's fine, not a big deal. I can't stop the, uh... Wait, there is a purity on this floor, though. There is a purity on this floor. I want to actually go get it. Um, the, the green mages. Hey, thanks. What's up, guys? Hello. Welcome. Hello. I don't remember which one was the purity, though. I think it might, might have been this one. Exactly. And that is the best way to put it, what King said. You're minimizing bad RNG. You're lowering the chances of bad RNG. Because you can still get bad RNG, but you're trying to save whatever you can by observing and working the floors to, so that it isn't as bad as one would think. Almost dead, but this is taking so long because I don't have the ability to spin. Uh, Kazumi. Thanks for the... Oh, okay, this is the uh, purity, so we'll use it. What's up, Red Crush? How are you doing? So now we're going to make our way to the, the exit, although this one is spooky because it is not... It is not... It's looking in a way where it totally will aggro, so I'm just actually going to wait a little bit. We're gonna do something slightly risky. I will pop this. If it explodes, I'm taking advantage. Did not, so let's move to the next room. Uh, I do want to probably check the chest first, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to manually do my mimic count, so that's 19, so we got the mimic. Okay. Check the chest. Yep. Now that sucks because I already used the purity, but I'm already here, so it's fine. Uh, not a big deal. Okay, 20 in the mix. I had the steel on, so it's not a big deal. I don't have to run any room here. Now, I want to be watching this room in front of me. I want to observe uh, how these lines are moving so that once this mimic dies, I can deal with getting to the exit. Right now, I cannot get to the exit. I cannot get to the exit right now. So I want to make sure that I observe, I watch, and once I get that free spot, then I hopefully will be able to take advantage of it. Also notice the fact that I'm not kiting, and we are taking a rather stupid amount of damage from this Mimic, even with Steel on. Okay, line just moved. There is a good chance I will not aggro the line to the left. So what I actually, but I might aggro him on the exit. So this is going to be a little annoying, 
So we're gonna do something that's slightly risky. I'm gonna check the chest. Do the safety. Actually, safety is really good. So I'm going to uh, purity now. And I'm actually gonna go to the side of the line. Okay, good, 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 good. So I wanted to actually get to the side. That worked out for brilliantly. Because like, I just got off the floor. So there you go. We've navigated through that room. Difference between face tanking and kiting, right there. Time is on time. We are 36 minutes walking into... Uh, 36 minutes walking into the... Uh, fifth floor. So if I can get out of here with 30 minutes remaining, we are definitely on pace. We pull this ape immediately because it is proximity. Aside from the fact that it does suck and I have steel on, it is proximity, so we're getting rid of it right now. Checking the rooms for a second. Uh, there is a chest here, I do want to check it. Ape's going ape. We gotta be a little bit careful here. Checking the chest. Another fucking mimic of... And I'm officially stuck. Oh man, they want my ass, holy shit. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Oh, I'm stuck as fuck. Okay, I'm good now. Got through that room. The Wisson is sight, so we knew that. That's why we took advantage of that. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Hey, what's up, uh... Sinon, how are you doing? Another ape. We're taking care of the apes because they are fox. Oh! Okay, we're good. I had to quickly hope that the Wisson wasn't going to go my direction, and once it stepped into the room, I knew that. Because it either goes left, middle, or right, and it kind of went down the middle for that one. We're taking care of the apes again because they're proximity. I probably deal with the Wisson next, uh, just because um, it's just a patrol. I already know where the exit is. We'll deal with the Wisson right now, so it's no problem. 30 seconds, it's going to do horrendous blast, but I have interrupt for that, so I'm not really worried about that whole thing. Ace, hello. Thank God for the steel. Yeah, the steel was a big game changer there because if I did not have steel, I think I would have hit the dirt. I could have. I don't know. I don't think I can find the ape, but I did not have. I did not. I needed more time to actually manage that whole thing. This is intense. Hey, what's up, Red Hulk? A little intense. Hey, we haven't even gotten to Behemoth Mist. Okay, gotta be careful because of that. We can interrupt here. Okay, we are we are going to the exit. Um, if I can get to other things, I might take it. But right now, uh, our focus is just getting to the exit. So right now, it might be a little risky. So we're doing this for time. So we're actually skipping. There's actually not much I'm I'm, I'm missing anyway. Two chests, but we want to do this for time. You know, I could have checked that for score, but I had an opportunity. I'm taking it. I just heard the intuition thing go off, so it's somewhere here. Mansu's our favorite, and we have another seal coming in. So I'm gonna try to pull this bird right now, 
and I know I can fight this without the steel. So I'm gonna hang on to the steel for a sec, I'm not gonna use it immediately. If there's anything else I potentially could fight without steel, I'm gonna try to take advantage of it. Although those curls are not entirely the greatest things to do that. Uh, so we're probably going to steal after this bird, unless there's more to that. Now if I can actually get across the ants here, that would be great, but I, I, I will definitely not be coming back to this room. So let's now steal, because I'm not coming back to this room. I'm actually going to bypass the curls, and I don't think I... Oh, there was a chest here. Shit. Okay, let's actually go very quickly here. I'm going to check the chest and try to beat the Anzu. Now here I'm already planning. If we aggro the Anzu, we're going to probably fight it and then probably witch him. So we'll just do that. Uh, that's just the risk I'll take. Not really a big deal. I can have the witching. I can deal with it, but I don't know if I kill it fast enough. Typically the Anzus move very slow. They will not move as fast as a lot of the other enemies. That's why I wanted to make that decision. Uh, we'll probably have to pull the curl because of the way it's looking. Oh, I gotta pull back because of the 8, so we're gonna fight here. Now here, interesting strategy that I picked up from Zyron. We are actually gonna take this hit intentionally because it gives me a 15 second Paralyze. If I were to skip that uh, AoE, and I took the next Paralyze, it'll give me a 30 second Paralyze. And then the next Paralyze after that is 15. So once this drops, I'm gonna take the next Paralyze. It's another 15 seconds, but it's gonna put me on DR. So that means the third Paralyze I get is only at 7. Not a bad strategy, but I wouldn't recommend that unless you had Steel on. And we had Steel on. So. You don't have to do it, but it kind of, you know, it kind of saves a little bit of time. Bird Paradise is coming in. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip it, and if I can find another curl, which is one over here, I want to pull that while I'm on DR for uh, my Paralyze. Pull it. Okay, now we're gonna hope that these guys don't move. Oh, oh, it's moving. <laughs> it's moving, we're going back. So my Paralyze, that's the third Paralyze I'm taking, that's only 7 seconds, so kind of benefited off that one. One. Two, two, oh, that's three, four. Don't do it on caster, no steal. Oh no, don't do it on, don't do it no steal as a DPS. As a tank, you can do it, but don't do it as a DPS. I really want this, I really want this chest. Uh, so we're gonna pull the ape right now, and we're gonna rely on gravity to help us out. Holy fucking shit, Anzu. Wait. Now I'm also gonna observe the Anzu. I don't know if he's moved recently, but we definitely want to keep track of his movement so I can try to get that chest. He just moved. Okay. One. Anzu right now is in a really bad spot. I am stuck here, so fighting this ape was kind of necessary because I just can't do anything about it. Okay, just move. I'm gonna hope the Anzu does not give me a problem. It was a while since he last moved. Alright, we got a Mimic instead. It's okay. Uh, check the Anzu position. Okay, I only watched one of them, so I don't know if I will safely get across this room. So I'm gonna chill a little bit and we're gonna watch this room. I'm watching the Anzus, I'm watching the Anzus as we're dealing with the Mimic here. I know I don't have to worry about the Anzu in this room in particular. Okay, so the uh, Anzu just moved. So I'm going to take advantage of it now because he's given me a problem. So we're going to move to the next room. Hopefully that does not move any further. We're good. So we're still fighting. Good, 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 good. Next pull is probably the ape because it is also blocking me both from the chest and from the, uh, from the chest and the exit. Because the wolf's also on the right side. Also there is a floating patrol somewhere. Right there. There's a patrol. I knew there's a patrol. I may want to pull the patrol first because um, it could give me a problem trying to deal with the ape. I'm gonna pull back here. Oh, good thing I pulled back, holy shit. That was a little bit of luck right there. I wasn't predicting the Andrew from moving. Again, the, the thing that you want to take away from this specific floor is that we are not wasting time pulling. I think in this scenario, people might take a lot of time deciding, okay, let me pull this, what do I pull here? We have not wasted almost a second on pulling. We just pull, move, pull, move. Maximizing the steel as well. Um, I'm sprinting. We're gonna pull this right now. Okay. Ape's mine. That's the one I wanted to pull originally. Uh, and Anzu just spawned in this room. Awesome. 
There was now three Anzus in this room. Cool. Because we didn't have enough Anzus, apparently. I'm gonna move now because uh, they're ganging up on me in that direction. <clears throat> Don't have too much room to move right now, so we need a lot of heals. I can get around this wolf now because of his current position, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Gets me to this next room. Also can get me to the exit a little bit better as well. Checking chest, that's another steal. And okay. So now, let's do the line. Lion, why this lion, not the other lion? Because this is the nearest to the exit. Simple as that. So now we've done two things. We've managed to get to this side of the room, and the exit is nice and clear. We don't have to kill anything else unless the exit isn't open. We managed our way through the Anzus, so we don't have to do any extra kills. And again, important, we kept pulling. We kept moving, we kept pulling. Still need to pull something. But this is a high kill floor, but I can just imagine most people will be deliberating on so much on this floor, just trying to like, okay, do I rage here? There's so many ants here. Do I do this? Do I do that? You know? Fried answers on the menu? Are they good? Hello from VR chat. Yo, what's up, Ethereal? The idea on the big screen there is global? It's global. Wait, like as in. I'm airing globally? What the fuck? It's global. <laughs> do I have you- do, do you have me on surround sound or something? Alright. Let's go. Next round. So, we are still kind of in risk of needing to do something to speed up, based on our current time, just as a note. So my first thing might be a flight. We might consider using a flight. But we're still gonna see what the game has to give me. Uh, it gave me that, so that's great. So let's, um, you know, let's just deal with it. Oh shit, the patrol's coming in. I didn't see the patrol. Also observe! Something to observe, something to observe. We said this earlier in the- we said this earlier on the 61 set. Hold on a second, I gotta- I gotta work this one, hold on. We gotta deal with this one first. Okay, something to observe on this set. A lot of the enemies are facing in one direction, although they could probably move soon. Uh, it looks like they might move. Okay, let's deal with this one first. Oh, they're moving. They were originally facing in one direction, but I feel like something got dislodged, and now they're, they're moving. Uh, which is fun. Uh... Let's see if I can sneak the exit, if I can visually see the exit. Can't see it. Tropical wind. I'm already trying to think about what the next pull is while we're fighting this enemy. But I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure yet. I might deal with that lion that's there that's on the left, because it is blocking me from- Oh, this is the exit! Oh shit! This is the exit, okay. I just saw the, uh, I saw the map. This is the exit. <clears throat> so let's definitely deal with the ape. Ape needs to go. Waiting a second. Pull. Ape needs to go because it's proximity right on top of the exit. So, uh, he has to go. He is something that needs to die. No way is he moving away from that exit. Everything else in this room is sight. So what's the next pull? We got a lot of cats, and the cats would be good if I chain pulled them. Uh, and that's not including the lion. I might kill the lion first though, and then if I need to kill anything else, we do the curls after that. Okay, that's coming in next. Again, we're not really hesitating so much on the pulls, we're just killing one, pulling, killing one, pulling. One of the biggest things I see from people is that they think too much. They're trying to deliberate, right? Do I pull this? Do I pull that? What am I gonna do about this room? Do I rage this room? But like, you're doing that while standing in place. <laughs> you know? You should do that now, as you're fighting. Don't do it while you're literally just watching enemies like, flap their wings. Um... Okay, I can get to a couple chests here. Hold on. Okay, I can get to some chests. We'll check this one. That is an alteration. I already have one. We'll check this chest, although it's not really beneficial to me. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do the curls now. Yeah, if, if, if it wasn't clear, the reason why I want to fight the cast back to back is because I'm going to get a uh, diminishing return. Uh, so now that, that paralyzes 30. But the next one I pick up will be uh, less than that. I also kind of forgot about taking the Konal initially. However, this is HP down, so it's not the best idea to take that Konal. Alchemy! It was up, Alk? Hello. And some okay. What's up, dudes? How are you all doing? Yeah, this is a this is a lovely room. Uh, it's a it's a Palace of the Dead special, um, where we have uh, what do you call it? We have um, just you know bullshit in front of us on top of an exit. By the way, on top of an exit. While I have an opportunity here, give a shout out to Miss Alchemy and Mr. Zamoka. Yo, good stuff with uh, good stuff with the deep dungeons earlier. Uh, you guys did awesome. Okay, I need to focus here. This Anzu is not fucking moving. So... Did I safety? No. The Anzu and the cat are stuck, so they're not moving. I'm gonna give this a couple seconds, but I really need to make a move soon. This is like Frogger to the extreme. Although this cat just really gave me a problem here. There is one situation right now where I can pull this off. But it depends on this cat. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking respawn. Um... Okay, I'm not gonna wait longer than 19 minutes to manage this, so if it crosses over 19, I will rage. Which is not ideal, but I am right by the exit, so... I do have to eventually speed up, but there is a potential situation that I get through. I'm just trying to observe this floor right now. Ouch! I was wondering why the things were shifting, but then they weren't moving. Alchemy, by the way, morning streamers. Zamoka streams in the afternoon. Uh, they were doing duo this morning, but they are great streams to visit, so you guys should check them out if you want a different time slot. Definitely, definitely check them out. Okay, a couple seconds and then I'm gonna rage because it's a little too complicated right now. I think the cat and the the curl the curl and the ants are stuck together, so they're not moving. All right, so we're gonna make a decision now. I'm just gonna rage through here because it's taking too long. So we're gonna rage and just get to the next floor. Aggro. Aggro. That cat's gonna aggro, and this ants is gonna aggro, and we're just gonna go. So I'm gonna try to take this rage into the next floor. <coughs> What I was hoping for is they would shift in a way that I can Metal Gear Solid through it, but it was too uh, it was too much for me. Okay, now we gotta move. We have 30 seconds to try to kill as much as we can in this gloom. Ape wants to vanish in a wall. That's great. Kill. Dead. That's one kill. We have Mimics here because I altered. Boom. Boom. Here. Okay, give me one more kill. Can I get one more kill, please? Fox? I might be able to sneak a lion kill. If I step on a loin trap, it'll be really bad though. Oh, perfect! Oh, but I got another. Okay, cool. Mimic's okay. It, it's not a big deal. Uh, because I want to check these chests, right? We want to check them. If I get a rage back, that's great. Although my steel is now down, so I want to be careful here. We had a little bit of a discussion here about um, gloom and mimics. So it is kind of RNG here that it will hit me or not while I'm running away. Um, 
So we just want to hope that we just get lucky and he doesn't hit me that much. And it's okay if I die, but you know, it's not ideal. Oh boy! Give me this kill, dude. Okay, we made it. Let me check another chest, because you know, why not? I know where the exit is. That's a silver. Surrendering. Oh. Wish I checked that one first. Imagine it was 181. Yeah. So if anything, that was the answer. We would steal. <laughs> like if, it, if you were wondering, we would steal for that. Um, okay, next floor. We have 8 minutes to get off the next floor. Not bad, right? One rage only to get through that treasure room. If I decided a little bit faster, we would have had a little bit more time, but it's okay. We'll manage. If I need to use something, I can here, but we'll decide. Oh boy. Well, we probably will at this point, uh, due to time. I think a Serenity might come into play here, so I, I will actually Serenity just now. Now the reason... Okay, I was just talking about it earlier. Well, why don't you try off a floor to see how, um, to see how you do before you do a Serenity. Well, the reason I Serenity here specifically is because... Gloom is a time loss. Everything is gonna take slower to kill. And not to mention things are already hitting like a truck a lot. So to Serenity now is better than say Serenity later and considering I am racing the clock right now, right? We need to get the balls. So I don't want to like decide late and then all of a sudden we start rushing. Like, okay, we, we should shank now, we should do this, we should do that. So we're gonna do it earlier uh, and hopefully I don't get burnt, but you know, it was either that... It, so the decisions were this. I had like three choices. <clears throat> I can Serenity and just try to fight it without any buffs. I could shank steel, which is an option. However, that does mean that I will then walk into 181 with literally one shank and steel. From three, we go straight to one. We sh we go straight to, to one, um, because we have to use one for beginners. Um, I could rage, but going down to one rage kind of sucks because you really want the rages going into um, into 181, right? So those were kind of the three options. I guess the other option could have been, uh, what if you used the flight earlier, but I didn't want to use the flight because I felt like I can get across the floor. Um, Anzu will aggro if I go through it, so we're going to go behind it. I do want to hunt down this uh, palace bird right now because it'll be easier to fight. Oh shit, well that's not what I wanted. I'm going to focus in on the bird first. Witching immediately. I can't do with two of these. I don't have steel on. Okay, but we will deal with the cat next, and the cat's gonna be fun because I'm gonna get paralyzed in a spot where I don't have too much running room. I'm gonna hope that I can kill the bird fast enough. Uh, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna focus target him. So I probably have to start kiting him, like, big time. Uh, almost done here. Three, two, one. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I focus targeted the wrong enemy. Well, I might die here. No, we're good. Okay, now it's cat time. I had the wrong enemy focus targeted. <clears throat> I think that's what I did last time, too. Now I want to chain pull... Uh, I do want to chain pull curl. So we do this one, we do the one by the exit, and then we do the one over here, and then we do the one over there, because I'm going to get a diminishing return on Paralyzed. So he's going to try to get a Paralyzed on me after this, and I will be 15 seconds, whatever he gets it all. So it's much less, and makes the fight okay. He doesn't do double attack, so... 15 second paralyzed there. It was, yeah, it was a little bit of a big aggro range. Uh, sometimes what happens to Yolandi, I was not watching it move. So there is a possibility it just decided to move at that point in time. So that's why. How much time for Behemoth? Um, 8 minutes is fine. 8 minutes trying to steal. We usually kill it in about 7.5. So I'm not too worried about that, although the chances of, say, doing a double dip is not there. So we just have to, you know, we just have to one-shot it. Just one-shot it. One. Also, something worth noting. He will not use Mega Blaster if you are paralyzed. Uh, that's actually extremely important. Because sometimes you might worry about your timing of getting paralyzed and stuff. He does not, uh, he will not use it. 
There's a chest here. Where the fuck's the chest? Oh, there it is. Uh, he won't use Mega Blaster if you're paralyzed. So you never have to worry about. Uh, you never have to worry about. See, see, he'll use it now because I'm I'm fully resisted, but he'll never use it otherwise. I will check the chest next because the next curl I put uh, I push is going to have uh, full paralyzed on me. And that's great. I am checking this chest because if it's something great, awesome. If it's a mimic, it's whatever. Although, I actually want to chill because of this paralyze. Probably wait for the paralyze to be 10 seconds and then we'll do it. Um, Alright, so we're gonna get close to Behemoth. We'll see how we do in Behemoth. Hopefully I can nail Behemoth. Okay, it's lost. Let's bring in the in-game music. Let's go. I should have been watching this Anzu though. I did not watch the Anzu, so I actually have to wait for the Anzu right now. If I move forward in any direction, he has the whole staircase covered right now. So if I move in any direction, I am aggroing this Anzu. And I think it has been moving, so we will wait. Worst case scenario is... Uh... Doesn't matter. I don't have to think about it. <laughs> Worst case scenario is I rage it, like, or I kill it in a witching or something. Uh, we don't have to worry about it. Fat cat? Big cat? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, it's goo. Oh, I shot him. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do this rotation nice and clean. I like to go in a, in a uh, clock clockwise rotation here. So we park the first one over da. I park the second one over da. And then I go south. He will go south for the trounce. So I'm kind of favoring his position in terms of the location that he's going to move. It might seem like I like it might seem like it's RNG with the way he moves, but it is very specific. This is a scripted fight. So everything he does is scripted. Okay, it's one. Two. Correct. By about 40%. I want to hold my stuff 40%, okay? I'm gonna hold it at 40%. Last time I didn't hold it that far and I actually lost- I did not even produce enough gauge for uh, the boss. Which ended up being actually kind of cool, but I do want to kind of do it normal because I don't know how reliant that is. Okay, 75%. Sure this is dropping. I know! I found that out, but uh, I will go full gauge on him, and then we'll kind of just like YOLO. So when we do the burst, so we are doing uh, healing chat by the way, we are doing healing chat. So what I, the only, there's, there's a number of things that need to go and happen with the healing chat. First I need to make sure that I am full HP by the time I initiate my burst, that's first and foremost. But second, I want to be able to pop a sustaining, a sustaining potion, specifically, specifically, about one GCD before the first meteor drops. Because if I, if I use my sustaining potion around that timing, I don't have to worry about putting up another sustaining potion for the entire fight. It's only a singular sustaining potion with full HP, that's all I need. Now with the healing strat, I do have to worry about where my second wind goes, where my super potion goes, and I have to drop food, which I have my drop food macro. Uh, so we all have to worry about that. Now after I do all of that detail, so the super potion goes up and the sec- actually specifically the super potion is probably the first thing I want to do. Second wind goes up, that's when I want a wildfire. I delay my wildfire because I can probably push a very clean 6 GCD wildfire after I deal with all the healing. So the initial burst is like, is reassemble drill, 
so on so forth. I might start with a, with a, with my first heat blast, but we're not gonna open with wildfire. We'll do wildfire later when I have a clean, uh, a clean um, rotation to do it where I don't have to worry about healing anymore. <clears throat> Okay, so we're at 47% right now. I think I still have enough time to build the gauge, so let's do maybe another rotation. Not really worried about the time though, so I think I don't have to go crazy. Let's actually get my gauge to close to 100 and then we'll maybe use it. Oops. I'm gonna hold my turret. I'm not gonna use my turret anymore. Oh, I was- I said I was gonna hold gauge, right? <laughs> good. Good going me. Let's hold the gauge. Quickly, heat blast. Perfect. Great, I listened to my own device. But I am holding my turret down. Yeah. Well, last time I did it so late, and then like, I forgot, and then it just got kind of really screwy, so I don't want to kind of risk it. Uh, it looks like we are actually going to get to the ideal part of the fight so I can lust. I like to have him at the at the south side um, of the arena, and then I do my lust there. And it looks like I'm going to probably get to that good timing. Um, I'm also going to hold on to that wildfire, we're not going to use it anymore. Yeah, 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 we're actually going to get to the really good spot, I think. So we're just going to go right in, looks like. I think. Now I want to, two key things that we're going to do when we do the Lust part. I want to have Tactician going, and I want to have a fresh Sustaining Potion going. That is the key part of that. If I don't have that going, it's a big problem. I'm going to pop a Sustaining now, so hopefully it'll come up when I need to. 22%, we're getting close to where we need to be. 21%, I'm going to hold now. So I want a fresh Sustaining Potion on this, and then we Lust. Holding. Sustaining, Tactician, let's lust. Perfect. One, two, three, four. That's not four apparently. This is five. Let's do one more. Okay, now this is five. Okay. Okay, now we manage the HP here. All the GCs are good. Six, seven, sixteen percent. That's seventeen. That is going to be 16 16.3 16.2 15.9 15.8 15.6 15.5 15.3 Oh, hold. That's it 15.2, we're gonna hold Potion uh, my HP is going to be a little spicy here. Okay, I'm going to set up. Ah, uh, this is not good with the HP. I'm going to have to modify now. I lost the G City on my uh, wildfire. Uh oh, but I think we're so good. Woo! I messed up the I messed up the thing altogether. I did uh... <laughs> I did fucking uh, interrupt in my rotation. <laughs> I did interrupt on the rotation. I actually ended wildfire early because I thought it wouldn't fire off fast enough. A little scuffed up, but it's all right. We made it through. This was the, I will say, this is the one and only time where the button that that gives you the ability to end wildfire early actually helped. Like, it actually was very useful. It, because of the, it was, so I, I scuffed the wildfire because my healing was bad. I would have done it, I would have done it earlier, but then my HP was actually not good. And I, I so the, here's how, here's what happened. Um... I took a hit before the burst, a hit that I thought I wouldn't take, so I had the sustaining potion early. So my sustaining potion was not where I would like it, it was actually way earlier than I thought. 
So it dropped at like the very last bit of that fight, which actually I didn't need it, but whatever. But then it cost me a rotation. It cost me a weave to put the G to put the thing in. So because I popped the sustaining potion, I was late on my wildfire. It wouldn't have been late if I didn't have to do the sustaining potion, but I don't think I had to do it anyway, but yeah. And then during wildfire, I hit interrupt by accident. Because I was smashing like three buttons at once when I was trying to heat blast, so. Hey Loken, thanks for being here, man, as always. Well, it was a messed up behemoth, but we still managed to pull it through by keeping a cool head. And we, uh, we modified our strategy. Did not go as planned, but we did it, so. Alright. I guess it's always good to not go textbook, because uh, it showcases some fun stuff. So the food did go off. Yep, super potion. So my first move was, my first move was the second wind. I did a GCD, and then I did super potion. And then I GCD'd and did a, and did a, um, a sustaining potion, because... I was looking at my HP, it didn't look like it was high enough. So I popped the sustaining potion and then we went into wildfire and that's why the whole thing was late. It's like a whole GCD late because of the wildfire. And then my drill was sitting there and I'm like, I gotta get this drill off. So I got the drill off and then I I, I pulled the uh, wildfire. I pulled the, the, the string on the wildfire. So the super potion had to go off. And I also took off food, which I didn't forget about that easy. So uh, didn't forget the, didn't forget about that. So, um, all right. Yeah, I did only use 50 gauge. I did. I really only used 50 gauge. You know why? Because I was too worried about my sustaining potion. And basically, like, I was thinking, oh my god, I have to do all this weaving. So doing a heat blast would have just been a waste of my time. So I just did not use it until wildfire. Because the Thunderbolt double... Did you get so much time to heal without all those? That's fair. I don't know. I, I've always done it that way. I think because I lost... I think it's because I also lost a... I think I for, might be forgot a sustaining potion somewhere in, so... Oh, sorry, June. Let me let you through, my friend. Permit, Mr. June. There we go. After you, like, interesting, okay. That's fair. That's interesting, that's interesting. Go ahead, June. You're gonna be post. We're, we're straight crit and doing Samba wrong at the same time. That's fair. Hey, that's that's fair. Um, I permitted you, June, for like 20 seconds, so you can repost. <laughs> Just attack the meteors, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think it's the same, so it's not like- Oh! Oh, okay, I'll do it. Here we go, this is what June posted. Here you go. <laughs> what, what was my heart rate at? What did my heart rate hit? Like 150? Because I was panicky for sure. Because I'm like, oh, I might actually mess this up. Let's replay. 169? Pog. 160. Sweet. Alright. Let's go back in. We're going right in, guys. 181 plus. Alright, so we made it through Behemoth, right? It's fine after Behemoth! No, it's not. <laughs> I have full raising, though. Alright. A lot of chests. Do, 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 do. Again, time management. We're talking time management, guys. Let's try to get to Mr. Godfather with enough time. It capped at 169? Yeah. Pog. Only boss that ever does that to me in this game, so we're... Hey, by the way, this is a special room. You wanna know why this is a special room, guys? Oh fuck, it's Chimera. Oh, we gotta, we gotta actually, so I'm gonna pull this right now. Uh, the reason is I think I can kill this before the Chimera comes, and then when the Chimera comes, I pull the Chimera. So my lineup, so I've already built in what I'm pulling. I'm pulling the bomb, I'm pulling the Chimera, I'm actually pulling a sprite because I can demonstrate something really fun with the sprite. So we're gonna pull the sprite third, uh, but first we're gonna do this Chimera. Chimera leading cause of deaths in Deep Dungeon. We want to say hello. Getting closer and closer. Okay, perfect timing. Next. One. Two. Three. I gotta watch this. I gotta watch this fight. Four. Five. In. Lion's breath. Any more lines? Any more uh, patrols coming in? That's a negative. Really? Were they were they were they using the height difference to to, to skip some mechanics? 
You might have died to- oh, don't worry, everyone died to it, it's alright. Oh, they were just pulling stuff in front of- oh, gotcha, okay. Alright, special, special thing we get to do with the sprites right now. I don't recommend pulling sprites on a machinist, because they are really bad on a machinist. However, we have boxes. So check this out. I'm gonna pull this thing here. Okay, I'm gonna pull them back over here. This takes a little bit to set up. Now I can LOS here. If you have these boxes, like in this room, there's also giant boxes that could spawn in some other rooms. These are big enough walls that we can use for the LOSing. So this is like Heaven on High all over again. But this gives me a free kill, so I don't have to uh, worry about this one. So I would much rather deal with this right now. That's why this was going to be the third pull. But this is RNG. The game doesn't always give you this opportunity, but I am taking that opportunity right now. Alright, we're skipping this bomb. I'm gonna see what else we got going into the future. We have our Wamura Kampa, which is sound, and I don't really need to pull it yet. Because I can get around it because it is sound. The Wamura that's floating around, I probably want to pull though. So we're gonna pull. We're gonna utilize the two rooms over here. I'm gonna get the poison on me. Okay. So I already know this room is clear of the trap because I walked this path already. Yep, that wall specifically can. Um, I think? Hold on. No, we didn't see the other one. If, if, I, if I see the other one, I'll show it to you. I didn't see the other one yet. Um, let me see. So I do want to still check chests priority, right? Because we want to make sure if they're a mimic, we eliminate them now. If they're not a mimic, okay, great. But we have not opened the exit yet, so we want to make sure that we... Uh, I saved it earlier, didn't I? I saved it earlier. I did save it earlier. Okay, we have the full room. Chests. Again, this is strategic. We are checking chests now, not after we open the exit. Very important that you do that in case the mimic shows up. Fortune, we'll use it. Okay. Gabby! Hey, Gabby! What up, Gabby? How you doing, Gabby? Angelus Mimic Rongo Animate. Angelus Mimic Rongo Animate. Unreal a year? Oh my god. Once I die to its flame breath, I'm summoning because I walked into an- Oh! Oh shit, I've done that before. Oh shit, man, I've done that before. Oh crap. Gabby's going pretty well. You know, Gabby, I'm gonna shout out Gabby. Gabby is a streamer. Um, they raided actually Celine earlier and I was around that stream when they did it, so... You know, I felt- I felt- I feel it's- it's also necessary for- to- to shout her out in my stream as well. Uh, Queso- wait, Queso Dance. What's the- what's the Mimic RNG Pass 150? Um, so... The Mimic RNG Pass 150. Uh, if you've done really well today in life, like if you've like, you know, helped an old lady across the across the river or some shit, I don't know, opened the door for like multiple human beings, saved the cat out of a tree, uh, your RNG for mimics are a lot lower. Now if you like were like an asshole today, your mimics are way higher. So that's where that you have to gauge it from there, okay? Same. Yeah, river, I don't know. Fucking pond, ocean, I don't know. Check out Gabby, guys. She's wonderful. Really good support of us and just an awesome person all together. Uh, gonna volunteer at Shelter Mode. There you go. You got, you got some good RNG. Alright, so I have a strength going. However, I don't have abilities. So what is the choice here? I am not sure. Well, we got a Rage back. We're gonna go forward and back. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, the rage is really huge. <clears throat> we already see a worm too, so you know, it's going great right now. 
I think I'm gonna try to fight through this room, although honestly the Warmora Campa is gonna be troubling. Uh, I could deal with the Warmora Campa normally speaking. I, I'm a little hesitant if I can deal with it without uh, my abilities, but we'll see. There's still a couple things that I can still pull. I really, really like to get to that Warmora that's floating around right now. I also want to check the other room. There's a Worm, there's, there's Warmora Campas. I want to get the chest. That's first and foremost, let's get the chest first. Walking, they are sound. You missed Behemoth! Well, it's alright. It was clipped by June. Uh, okay, there's a bomb. I can fight the bomb. Check. Other strength, already. Gonna use this room for kiting. So, yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to fight through this. Uh, however, if I literally run out of enemies to fight... That's tricky, it's a tricky spot. I think I will try to fight through the Wamora. I think I'm gonna try to fight through the Wamora. Um, just to see. I mean, if I if it goes bad, I can Witching. But we really need to start to get kills through here. So let's do Wamora right now. Uh, I'll pot here and let's do Wamora. We'll keep distance away from him. Uh, I can't deal with him normally, I know that. It's just, uh, with the abilities a little, it's spicy. Yo, Pin. Hey, five, five months, man. Unreal. Five months already, cool story, Bob. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that continued support. Uh, GG. You little bitch. Oh, I sprint. I'm a dumbass, I sprint. Yeah, I forgot about sprint. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, the damage is high. Oh wait, I have sprint. What's my one thing that I can save me? Yeah, sprint. Forgot. I was so focused on doing NASCAR, you know. Okay, so I will have sprint up for the next pull at least. Oh yeah, yeah, gifted by Chela. Thanks, Chela. Carried by Chela. That should be the that should be the that should be the the headline for you guys when Loken and Pin go back in carried by Chela. Uh, let's go. Oh. Welcome back, finally. It's like uh, Cryo, how are you doing? Man, I wish I could use my gauge. Okay, my super potion's coming back up. My sprint is coming back up. I might sprint now. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, sprint now. Get some distance away. Okay. So we're down that enemy enemies. Let me actually... Now let's try to... Oh, wait. Uh, the strength is here. Mm. There is a bomb. And there's one more Kampa, and there's a chest. Let's check the chest first. I do want to come back and get the strength, but we've essentially already figured out what we're going to fight, right? So let's just check the chest first. Lux came back, that's awesome. That's extremely good. I will pull the uh, bomb. Yeah. And we're going to actually run all the way back for that strength. So I'm going to kite him all the way back um, to the chest that has the strength. We will pop the strength no matter what if I need another kill or not because um, my strength is dropping anyway. And again, this right here, this is a time save. You know, the question again, like what do you do with that extra strength? Well, I'm moving my way, I'm moving myself over there. I'm kiting the enemy to this chest. We're accomplishing two things at once. I get to this chest, but I'm also still killing. Saves me time. Okay, we are popping it. I probably pulled the one more Kampa, although I shouldn't have sprinted. That's actually a bad play by me, uh, because I needed that spin for kiting, but let's pull the one more camper right now. Okay, let's go. You didn't know worms could spawn on one- Oh yeah, I had that recently, I am, uh... I'm way too funny, I had that recently. Very rare spawn, but- Oh shit, something respawned. That's bad. I had to turn around.
bomb just respawn. I would pull it next though so if I need another kill. Okay, we're good. Don't move. Okay, now I need to observe the sprite if I can. Ow. Like, like, bent my back with that, with that attack. Okay, sprite is too far so I can go this way. We are still using nothing, so we're just gonna go to the next floor. Alright, two floors down. We are uh, 12 minutes into the first two, that's six per, so that's a pretty good pace. Oh, sorry, I have to skip that song. I apologize. I can't play near today. Uh, okay, one more Campa. Bomb. Whoops. I actually meant the sprint, not a... Uh... Yeah, Nier gets angry. Yeah, YouTube gets angry about Nier on YouTube, so it happens. Uh, bomb next. Okay, we got Shiva. Who doesn't like Shiva? Okay, we have sprites. One more Campa. Intuition. Oh, hi. Uh, three or more campa, let's go. Spins. I might be stuck. No, I'm good. Ow. You wanna relax, dude? Redeem, grab... No, that's not happening. Here. <coughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I'll use the intuition for sure. Ow? Oh, that's not good. Wait. One. Oh my god. Look what you've done, Ken. This is all Ken's fault now. Oh! Okay. Intuition. Intuition. <laughs> yeah, watch Meiji. If an intuition was literally like out of the arena, she would find a way to find it. No joke. What happened to spikes? Why are they here now? The fuck? Um. Well, let's deal with a crawler. I have full everything, right? Alright, let's deal with a crawler. I do that after. Oh, the slow. Okay, now let's deal with the uh, other stuff. Can you make it. Oh my god. Yeah, even if it says yes, I'm not doing it. Wrong stream. Okay, you move. Save gamer walks in the middle of a room to check out to check an intuition. I need sprints. Oh don't don't worry, I feared crawlers as well. But more and more people have been like, crawlers are fine, you should pull them. So and I did pull them before, so I've gotten a little bit more confidence on them. I was trying to save my heat blast. 
specifically for uh, the slow phase, so... Oh my god, I still need to fight something. I guess I'm gonna pull the other crawler. I still have strength on. Yeah, it spams slow, that's what's really bad. But I mean, hey, if you're talking about can you kill it, it falls in that category, you can kill it. Little Scarlet, good morning. Oh, oh hi. Hello, nice to meet you, I'm, I'm over here. One time something actually spawns, like, conveniently in front of me. Squid Grain QTD, oh my god. Red light, green light. Oh. Thought I had hot shot up, apparently. Apparently did not. Alright, we're out. Nice and clean. We're going to the next floor as is. We're not using anything. Let's go. 94. <laughs> yeah, bear boy. Fair fact, because you can stop all the slows, but... Well, a majority of the slows, anyway. I got a debuff here. Debuff is... No healing, that's fine, not a problem. I'm losing strength. Uh, flights. So actually, you know what I want to do? Is I want to actually pull this crawler right now. Because I have, uh... I have, uh, my strength still on. One, two, three, four, five. Sprinting. Okay, we're clean. I want sprint for that pull. I used the flight, but I didn't actually open the chest, so give me a sec. Got another strength coming in. Let's pull the patrol. <laughs> yes, Blink <laughs> Trap. I've been stepping on landmines all day, though, so I mean, maybe it's just a landmine, you know? Looks like I gotta get the curse of Horrid. No. I. I drive this boat. Checking that chest. We got another patrol coming in. He wants to die, so we're gonna pull it. Easiest patrols here. You definitely want to fight these, no problem. Yeah. Wait, someone asked that? Yeah, so, um... Your heat blast just sets your GCD to a fixed a fixed timer, so it will bypass slow. Uh, Kazuki, thanks for the follow. What the fuck did I say? Thanks for the follow, welcome in, man. Chimera. Pulling the Aerosaur. So I want to get this out of the way, because, um, it's just gonna be tedious to, like, figure out how to kite and shit. Uh, I wanted sprint on this pull, too, so... I have a Chimera coming in, he's pulling himself. Ow. Ow. Oh. <laughs> that kinda hurt. <laughs> that kinda hurt a little bit. It's a little, a little spicy there. I got so far. Sorry, I only need a certain amount of HP anyway. Let's pull the Chimera now. So again, the takeaway. What's the takeaway from this right now? Pull, 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 pull. But they're not random. We had reasonings as to all of the pulls. I pulled the, the crawler because my strength was about to drop. I pulled the vin the vinthers because they're just easier in their proximity. I pulled the, the dinosaur because it gives me an opening on that next room in case I need to fight anything else in front of me. I pulled the chimera because, you know, it's proximity and I don't want to have to deal with it. So there's like... There's like... There's like reasonings behind every pull. Uh, hey Rez, how you doing? Hello, hello. Nice emote. Found the exit. Alright, so I did not check this chest because earlier I had to deal with that, um, the Vinthers. So now I can check the chest here. See what it is. It is... A steel! Cool. And the next floor is the Flighted. So let's proceed. 
Let's see if we can get to any other chests in the floor. I think we've cleared up all the patrols, so that's great. Um, I do, again, priority is, okay, there's nothing. So priority is the chests, but they're all gone, so... Let's actually go this way. Machine is specialty right here. We are cutting this thing across the map. And it hasn't really gotten to me yet, so that's great. After Sprint goes down, we will do a uh, leg graze and it still can't get to me. Do I prefer lighting or altering? So, I would prefer to alter, but I'm not gonna lie. I usually, like, time-wise, I usually end up not doing either, and I usually end up raging. Uh, I usually rage, like, you know, like, 88, 89. Um, I know, like, it is really ideal to alter those floors, but a lot of my runs just don't end up like that. I just don't get the opportunity to do that, so... Hey, it almost bested me. I fumbled a lot of my rotation pen. We fumbled a lot of it and we still made it happen, so... Okay, we're pulling these right now, no question. We're just going in, because these guys were right by the exit. And I know I can fight them. So I think right there is also something that a lot of people might too, right? Like you walk into a floor, you start looking around. Like, okay, this thing is here, this thing is there. Not ish. I already know I can fight those. There's no need to deliberate. We just fight them. Of course, I would like sprint for the fight, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm gonna pull it now. I'm gonna rely on leg raise if this gets a little spicy. So like right now, I would say my current strategy for the last floors is probably a raise. But it will depend on how much time I get when we get there. Because it could determine. I mean, if I have a lot of time, then I'm just gonna start doing alters and shit. But I don't know how much time I'm gonna have when I get there. Steel. I'm using that steel late. Enemies are harder in 186, so I'm gonna use that steel late because I can kill everything in this floor. Big question you wanna you wanna ask yourself this high up, okay? That rage is sitting there. First instinct is like, fuck yeah, we oh I'm sorry, the steel is sitting there. Fuck yeah, we got the steel. Let's use it right now. But ask yourself this. How have you been killing the enemies up till now? Have you actually been killing everything without the steel? And and you should know that later on the things get harder. So you want to kind of continue that if it's not giving you a problem. And then I could walk into 186 with the steel on. Oh shit, we open the exit. Oh, because it's flighted. Right, okay, I forgot. Let's see what else is here first. So now I can enter the next floor with a steel on. Like, that's just really good. Um, there's nothing here, so I'm just gonna go. Time is really good. Honestly, like, now based on our current time, I might consider a flight right now. Because our time is actually super, super good. Um, and I want to kind of stay ahead of time to give me better options right now. So let's flight the next floor to keep that time in order, and then we'll see where we're at when we walk into 187. We want to try to keep the rages as best as we can. We want to try to utilize like one at most. Uh, this did not sound good with debuffs. Okay, this is a problem. Um, oh, this is a real problem. Fuck me. It's a good thing I trained for this moment. So instinctually, people would probably decide to uh, to uh, serenity this, but uh, we've actually trained for this moment in time, right now. Uh, I made it. <laughs> I made it. Easy game. Okay, what do we have? We have a sport piano. We have a, we have everyone's favorite frost dragon. We have a dinosaur. Oh shit, I'm way too far. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get out of here. We have a worm up there. Dinosaur is next, and we got a chimera coming in soon. So we do the dinosaur right now. Just got a scorpion in that room, got a dinosaur here. Might have enough to get out of this room. And it's very important that I try to fight through this room. So if you saw this debuff, and your first instinct is, okay, well, let's Serenity. Well, when you're running out of Serenity by 191, this could have been the reason why, you know? This could have been the very reason why 
You may not- you may have ran out of Serenity 191. And I flighted this too. Okay, where did that- where did that- where did that Chimera go? I need him. Oh, he's- he's running away from me. Fuck. Yeah, I actually just killed one little Scarlet with Strength on, so we did handle them. Oh, there are two. Okay, my mistake was I was running too far from the Chimera. I don't want to be too far, uh, so I can get get ready for Dragon Blade here. Else. Dragon's not giving me a problem quite yet, so... One... Dragon Boy's in. Two... Three... Four... Five... Okay, need another kill. And there is another Chimera floating around here. Come here, Chimera. Grand's voice out. Now, what's my next pull if I have to fight something? I have t I have a worm. I have two scorpions. I have a crawler. I think we do the crawler, and I should probably actually hold gauge if I have to. So let's let's actually plan for that. If I need to pull, it has to be the crawler. So let's pull the crawl. Uh, yeah, this, 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 I gotta worry about that stupid poison though, but we'll see. I'm gonna hold my gauge for the fight. I'm gonna plan for the worst case scenario. I can deal with this Chimera no problem. Man, it's worth out. Get back in. My wildfire is coming up soon. Alright, I don't have to think about it because we opened. So let's uh, proceed to the exit. Still have the steel on, walking into 187 with... Uh, I'm not getting that chest by the way, I could step on a trap. Uh, do I get this one? No, I'm not getting that one either. Uh, let's go. Time, 30 minutes, walking into 187. Nice and clean. We haven't really picked up too much. We got the Rage back. Uh, we used two flights so far. It was flighted cynically. It was flighted. So I think that was four kills. So technically speaking, that was pretty high. Uh, this is trouble. So here is interesting. I think I will... Ooh, boy. What do I do? I don't have too much option here. I'm gonna aggro this Chimera. I got him. I'm not even sure what I want to do. can't die here. Oh fuck, I'm gonna surrender actually. I don't know, I, I think I had to serve it no matter what. I know there's another one in my corner of my eye. Ram's Force, Ram's Force. 
They were very nice to me. They're using the same shit at the same time. Okay. One down. I kind of don't want to do that again, I'm not going to lie. Oh, shit! Okay, um... Okay... My steel's going out, yeah, that's great. Dragon Voice in. Great, okay, so let's just deal with all these fucking chimeras. Okay, that's one time. Okay, okay, well, yeah, we haven't had enough apparently. Uh, okay. Alright, boys, come on. Y'all gotta stop. Great, great. The thing is, like, a death would be really annoying, so I'm trying to debate on how the hell I want to even handle this. not die doing this. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Okay. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I was- I fortune, but I'm just gonna go. Yeah, just every- just- just another day in Palace of Dead. It's fine. Five chi- six chimeras, whatever. Whatever, it's just six chimeras. What's the difference? The problem is I don't- I am down that- that serenity. Right side, I didn't die yet. Fuck me! Don't hit me. I swear to god. Don't hit me either! Okay. Oh fuck, it killed me! No! That's okay, I can wish him. Uh, I'm gonna raising. I thought I was- I actually thought I had enough HP there. I, that's literally why I did that. I legit thought I had enough HP, but whatever, it's fine. Was that a crit? <sighs> that's just a big hit, though. I legit thought I had enough HP. It's okay, it's fine, but that kind of sucks, though. Check. Okay. Pull you. You know, so what is also bad about that that specific scenario we were just in, that was an ass that was a terrible, terrible room because no matter where I positioned myself, we were gonna aggro a chimera no matter what. So it's just so bad, you know? But it is what it is. I mean we tried our best, but I lost all my witchings having to manage that, that floor, and that kind of sucks. Oh my god, they don't stop. There's more, they're coming! I think I made fun of Chimeras too much, guys, and they're coming in force right now. There's two more coming down this room. I'm observing. Chimera is going straight. So I'm going to go this way so I don't get the aggro. Now the other one could go and lean in one direction, but I am unsure about that right now. Ram's voice out, stepping out. Getting back in. Ram's breath. All right, we got lucky. No ricochet. Okay, we made it through. I missed. Get over here, get over here, get over here. Come on, okay. Okay, now I can actually get back to the spawn room. <laughs> we can actually work our way to the spawn room, guys. We've made progress. Holy crap. Anyway, what I was saying was that that, that spawn room we were in the previous floor was just ass. Even if you were in a four-man party, that would probably delete four-man parties. Like, if you guys were not, like, very careful and, like, hit a, 
kept a clear head about it, you know? That could have been the end of your run, uh, because, damn, I'm, I don't know, we, we saw 6 to 7, I think it was like 6 to 7 Chimeras came straight at us. I killed 2 and I still saw 5 more, so... Oh my god, I missed drill. Yeah, it was... I think that's one of the worst I've seen where I literally couldn't handle it. Uh, like, a lot of times I can find a way to snake through a floor like that, I couldn't handle that floor. I mean, I guess, I guess, like, in hindsight, I should have worked the other room. Like, the room that, um, the room that, the room in front of me with the exit room, it would have been smarter, because I would have had more room to deal with, but... Yeah, that's in retrospect, and in hindsight. So I'm delaying the usage of that strength and steel. Why? Because I need to try to get to the next floor, and we're gonna have to deal with that next floor. I'm gonna alter the next floor and use nothing else. Uh, and we have 20 minutes, and that's a lot of time, because I have to get off the next floor and get there by 8 minutes. Uh, really, honestly, if you really want to push it, I can probably push it with like 7 minutes, 6 minutes. Uh, so, I I will not benefit off of Shrank Steel on this floor, because we're just fi we're just farming Chimeras right now. Um, so I'm going to alter the next floor, have enough time, have a Shrank Steel, and we can deal with a lot of things there. So again, that's where that delay, like, you don't want to get too excited trying to do a strength steel. It's like, oh my god, strength steel, let's use it, it's the best thing ever. I'm capped, I don't need to util utilize it right now. We can use it later. And we're gonna get the full benefit on the next floor. High kill. Alright, so, so far we've just made that singular mistake with the, uh... We made that mistake with uh, death. I could have prevented that death. But I really, really thought I was not going to specifically die right there. I thought I would have enough HP. I knew, I knew I was going to take an auto attack from the Chimera. Because the Chimera was going to aggro after the Scorpion. But I honestly thought I was going to survive. But it's okay. We still had the extra raising, so it's not a bad deal. Let's make sure this is a steal. It is. Alright, so we have uh, about 12 minutes to deal with 189. 12 minutes with an alteration. Yeah, it, it just cleaned me out, but it's alright. I know, yeah, Pin, I know, man. They keep coming, man. They keep coming and they keep coming. Okay, this is not a great room. Voice. One, two, three, four, five. Also, I do want to note, uh, it is going to be worthy of noting that that last floor we were just in, 188, was pretty much a high kill floor. So we were able to get around with that room, even though it was blinded, because we took the... We took the the, the rage into that floor, so it was very beneficial for that. Like, that, that lucky, but, you know, it worked out for the best. Uh, okay, I got a scorpion, I got a worm, I got worm, I got a frost dragon, and a chest that I'd like to check, but I, I don't think I can do that right now. Um, so let's check, I gotta find the altar room first and foremost. I can deal with a scorpion, doable, yeah. Okay, let's do a scorpion right now. Okay, I got around the tail screw. Oh, this is there's a, a chimera here. So I did the I did a bind on the on the on the scorpion. I got away from the scorpion with sprints, and then I tried to manage my distance so I'd be close enough to get the tail screw to trigger, and then I would go out of range. So that's how I managed that one. So I gotta kind of wait for like my cooldowns for that again, but we'll deal with the Chimera first. Watching the cooldowns here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta still find the altar room, we gotta locate it. 
If it's Mimics or Core, it doesn't even matter what it is. I just need to get there because I can fight it. Corians. Sweet. Only two, though. Okay. So I have one scorpion left, I have a chest left, and I got worms left. So the options aren't... oh. Hmm. Okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> that worked out nice. Uh, let's check the other room then, I guess. Uh, let's see if I can get to this chest. Oh, you know, honestly, maybe I shouldn't. Because if I aggro the... Okay, so we are in a bit of a timer here. So if I aggro the dragon, it causes such a big problem and I don't have... Uh, I don't have witching. So I think we're just gonna go now. And I will have bonus strength and steel so I can really like chill on the fight. Uh, we don't have to go crazy on the fight, although I still want to do the lusts and stuff, so... I'm doing the, uh, I typed out the, the, the diagram that we use for 190, so I'll be using that diagram for the fight. Uh, I will be looking at chat, so, uh, wish me luck. We go into the fight. With 16 minutes, there's a lot of fucking time, but I have to make sure. This is the biggest challenge that I have right now. I have to make sure that I notice that my strength and steel is dropping during this fight, so... Gotta make sure that I do not forget that that is actually happening, otherwise we are fucked. Up! Oh! Hey, Alex, you're still here, damn. Alright, let's go. Alex, Alex, close your eyes, dude. I'm gonna hold off on Wildfire here. First bomb is going to be north. Did you? Oh. Okay, good. Actually, the timing of my, my sustaining potion is awesome, because I can do this loss right now. Perfect timing. We go 5 in. 1... 2... Oh! I could have gotten it off. 3... My sustaining potion's out down. 4... Uh, this is gonna be spicy. Okay, we're good. Gotta watch my ricochet. Park is here. No more ricochet. 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 Okay. No ricochet. No ricochet. No ricochet. No ricochet. Sprinting. Once the once he gets unstunned, I will sprint because it will help me mitigate some of this damage. Sprint usually lines up at that part of the spice, so it kind of works out really well. Um, next bomb is over here. One, two, three, four, five. My reassemble is coming up. I'm gonna delay the loss because we're just gonna re re uh, redo it once it gets low. Also, probably gonna wait for uh, my my uh, sustaining to kind of come back up there. Hot shot, potion, lust. Bomb is gonna be southeast for the next one. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna start bringing him southeast here. Okay, we're gonna watch the ricochet big time. We need to watch the ricochet. Make sure we do not ricochet. Um, hmm. Oh, uh, I should be fine. I think. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. Although my healing is gonna be out of whack. Okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. Not sprinting though. Uh, next bomb coming in is going to be mid. 
Stop hitting me! Oh my god, stop hitting me. Okay. It's like I'm looking at the fucking map and I still don't even do it right, it's so funny. You think I would do it correctly by now? I'm gonna wait for... Oh, oh, oh boy. Saw that drop. And that threw me off big time too. I'm gonna miss the lust. I'm gonna miss the lust. Um, the, the lust here because uh, I just do that whole thing. One, two, three. My attention was still on like the previous engagement, so I almost missed the strength and steel timing. But it's okay because uh, we have like literally extra time to fall. Okay, better part. Yeah, I straight up just didn't park it correctly. It looked like it wasn't gonna hit, so... Okay, watch the ricochet. No ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet. Potion. Sprint. I'm actually just gonna hold on to the Lust now. I think it's just gonna be too risky for me to utilize it again. Uh, next one is gonna be Self. Blue Bomb Self. I have no extra heals, so that's why it's a little bit spicier. Drop in the turret, go in here. One. Prioritize in the potion. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, healing are back in order now. And my second one's back, so. Oh, I actually fat fingered. That's nice. Uh, this is going to be west for this ad. Thanks for the follow. Right around here somewhere. Close to the middle. No ricochet. Okay. Letting my sustaining potion do its work. I don't want to do the second win yet. We'll let the we'll let the healing do its magic. Okay, and we sprint. Gonna hold on to wildfire. One next one is southeast looks like. Prioritizing my potion here, and we're gonna second link, so I'm gonna take another hit. Okay. One I will prioritize potion. I should have waited for that potion too. Three, last but the next bomb is going to be south, I believe. I think. Yeah, it is going to be south. Incoming damage. Excuse me, pardon me. Help. And take some hits here, but it's alright. Three percent on the boss. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay, well, <laughs> we're overcompensating this time. Alright, so, you know, it got spicy, but, you know, it's been spicy all day, so whatever. There we go. <laughs> it got a little, it got a little, little spicy there. So if anything, like, really, I, I really want to say the whole beginning of the run was, was just fast pulling right we just kept pulling kept moving kept kept going going with the, the 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 pulls and that probably saved us minutes on the run so it afforded us towards the end all that time i only used one rage i only used well we used two flights one rage we had a slew of strengths and steals a bunch of witchings but we only used one rage and, and two flights and it got us to 20 minutes on the last floor you know, like we didn't, we weren't gifted that much on this run, but we were able to just keep moving. So, you know, if we're making this argument about trying to save your, save yourself time, I want to say that's a good reason. And we had one of the biggest bullshit floors I've ever seen on 187. <laughs> one of the biggest bullshit floors on 187. So. How do kiting strats change as red mage? Um, you wanna so as red mage, you want to weave in and optimize your vercure. 
because it's kind of like you drop below, let's say, 75%. You're predicting incoming damage, so you weave in a Vir Cure and then you maintain damage. But it's a lot of stop and go as Red Mage because you have to stand and cast, stand and cast, stand and cast. So you work that out with the Vir Curing. And that's how it works out on, on, on Red Mage. Uh, Riddle, by the way, thanks for the follow. Titan, oh, there's a like, oh, I, I missed these follows. Sorry, guys. Thanks for those follows. Um, how do you set it up so the transformation access set to key instead of having to click on the pot? Yes, so we have a macro here. Uh, it, this is just a generic cross one, but it is status off transfiguration. So here we go. That's what it is. Hey, what's up, Rin? Yo. What's up, dude? How you doing? All right, let's wrap this up today, shall we? Uh, let's finish. Let's finish this run with a clear, and then I could do ninja. I do ninja. All right, let's go. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's up, man? All right, let's just go right in. I'll go to the restroom after we clear. Let's go. I mean, after after we after we do the run, don't wanna don't wanna jinx myself. All right, palms are really good, but we fought our way for these palms. Again, we were really not. We I I got one rage and one a one plus. So we worked our ass off to have what we have now. I think if anything, this is a really good run because we weren't just gifted you know, the run. Like, we had to work for it. Big time. I'm gonna open with a fortune, which I really like to do on these sets. I will also open with a strength. So what I do like to do, the strategy adjusts now. Uh, here's something that we have definitely found out. We kind of have seen that strengths and seals are fairly common in this floor. It can be, or it can't be. But we have seen a lot of strength and seals. So what I would like to do is I'd like to keep my strength at 1. So right now I'm gonna reserve that final strength for like a really bad floor, um, you know, something where I would like to have the steel floor. Also worth noting, I only have one Serenity, so we need to also mine that. Uh, oh, you're not dead. We need to mine that. Oh, I pulled you too early. Okay, well, things are going well so far. Excuse me. So we want to be able to use our things very strategically on the run. I also have to mind the fact I only have one Serenity. So it's going to be extremely important that I really, really check these rooms and check all the chests available. I cannot miss anything. Because it could be the Serenity we're looking for. Not to mention, Mimics are not threatening me right now. Like, it's okay, we get a Mimic, whatever. I'm also gonna pop open a Affluence Alteration, which I like to do on the earlier floor. Really have to check these rooms. Yeah, no Witching is crazy too. So honestly, like, the Rages look great. Like, look, the rages look great. Rages are great, the flights are great. I mean, we have affluences, the strength and steals are like above average. But our utility are missing. We're missing utility right now. Um, we are down to one serenity, which I have not seen the entire run for a while. And we don't have witching, so we can't make a big mistake. Yo, Maru, I've been pretty good, thanks for asking. Still a little busy, but I know, I've been good. Alright. How are we looking on these chests? Not looking great, that's what I'm telling you. That is not a gold chest. I'm gonna just proceed here. I'm gonna pull this right now. We're gonna fight him, but I'm gonna check this room real fast. But it does not look like that's a gold chest. So we're gonna explore the other room here. Actually, I can't move. I gotta wait. Good, they're not here. Would you want them to be here? I mean, honestly, though, to be fair, try to have... Uh, if we did encounter a lot of Taurus Patrol, I did want to demo the resolution chat. But I will only do that if they're here. So if they're not here, then I can't do it. Uh, that's... yeah, I do have an extra Lust. And honestly, the Lust can come in handy for a very specific reason. Um, if we get a Gloom Floor, it will be handy there. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know... Having tools is, is not bad. That's not a bad thing. To see this way. Exactly, the gloom is gonna be where we would like to use it. We have not- okay, there are not any gold chests here, so that's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. Let's just keep pulling. There is a rare ghost right there. There is no gold chest on this floor. Going tight along the wall here. So, right now, I just pretty much pull until we open the exit. Like, there's really no reason for me to check any other chests and whatever. So th there's two things I do want to worry about. Uh, if you don't know, and 151- actually, isn't it like even higher? I think it's, it's 151. 151 plus, 
you will get respawns every 5 minutes. So the moment you zone into the floor, the timer starts. So one thing I need to be at least cautious about for the first rotation of the of the uh, of the respawns is 55. I do not want to be in a room at 55 because I might get caught with a with a respawn. So we need to watch that number. Outside of that, we just kind of just keep pulling right now and just fight in the hallway. Wow, it's a fast four. Okay, well let's go to the next four. Um, we're gonna hope that I can get through now. If we get a lot of no items, it's gonna make this run very interesting. So we'll see. I think I got blinded. Oh. Oh well, here goes the start of the bad floors. I had to steal here. That is an immediate steal. Also, I need to deal with this course that's coming in. So there goes one of the steal. It's, 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 a, it's a really... That was just an immediate choice because... I mean, if I had another Serenity, I probably would have considered a Serenity, but we don't. And I do not want to go down to zero Serenity as best as I can. Uh, now, I could I could technically Rage if I really wanted to, but... Nice Glam. Hey, thanks, Kaiser. I really like this Glam, actually, specifically. Um, it is one of my favorite glams that I that I utilize. It's the Eureka glam, but it's really good. I like it. Hey, blind and machinist. I know. I mean, every job kind of hates blind, uh, but you know, it is what it is. You gotta deal with it. I'm gonna deal with this patrol so I don't have to keep waiting. Again, we're still maintaining the whole, like, let's just keep pulling, keep moving kind of thing. Uh, so we'll retain that as best as we can. What if the Garms follow me one anyone plus? No problem. I prefer Garms. Uh, Garms are really easy to kill, so I would prefer to fight them. You know, they're better than the courses, I'll tell you that much. No, no intuition. I mean, everyone kind of like burned them all off in the previous set, so... I need to find the altered room, and we need to check some chests as well. Uh, let's see what we got. Check the chests. Lust came back. Okay, I'm gonna pull the course now. I'm gonna sprint. I'm gonna pull the course because, um... He's kind of free right now. Oh, I am stuck here. I cannot move. That mummy, that mummy just moved in a spot that I will aggro. So now I need to work this room. It's okay, but uh, it does kind of hinder my uh, my ability to move around here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tactician here. Good timing on that tactician. Need to be careful because I do not have witching. I have one insurance with that uh, with that raising, but. Okay, let's move. I want to get to the gold chest, and I, again, I need to get to the altered room because um, I need to see if it's Corrigan or if it's not, and then it'll help me out so I don't have to kill as much or we need to keep going. Arms wank, yeah, I always not use it. I'm kind of like stingy with using it, except for like super emergencies, but it is Corrigan's. I do see them. There are three. So I'm gonna get- so here's the plan, right? How do we make this efficient? I want this chest first. If it's a Mimic, fine. I need to kill the I need to kill that mummy that's blocking towards the Mandy's. So that also has to die, unless it moves by the time I get there. Check this one. Intuition. Great. Let's go over to that room. My strength is dropping, but I'm not gonna re-up it yet. We're gonna wait a little bit. Uh, there is a chest in that room, so I can get there. Actually, right now is super, super good because I can get there right now. Oh my god, you guys are just like jumping on that. Hey, look, it's, it's, it's over here. Hey, look, it's right there. I'm gonna check this chest first. Check it first. Got a strength back, which is great. Three kills. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, oh boy. I'm gonna sight. <laughs> okay, we wouldn't have been burnt because it would have been a it would have been a landmine. Oh, resolution though. Ooh, that was worth it. Okay, resolution is good. 
So I do need to be a little careful. Let's do the Rezo. Rezo gives me some free kills here. Timing is kind of crappy here because I have to move into this fight, but it's alright. It is four hits to kill something in Gloom. Okay. I need to be careful to only hit the mummy here. So this is nice, this is convenient. That was worth using a site for this move. Okay. We can kill probably one more right there, the mummy right there. Yeah, without strength, yep. And it's okay, I'm okay that I didn't use the strength. I'm not upset by that, because I'll probably save it for later. Uh, I hope that's enough. Okay, got him. Oh, I missed! Rip! Rip the reassemble drill, dude. And something respawned here. Okay. Good thing I was not in this room. Okay, we made it through one bad room. One bad room. We made it through one bad room. Uh, let us do a strength. Oh, I'm gonna actually alter. So let's do this. Let's do this. I will open with a strength. Why am I opening with a strength? If I get in no items, the strength will help me out on that floor. Especially because we're really prone to no items. Fuck, but it's gloom. Shit. That's a problem. Okay, so now the plan changes. So what I want to do now, which is why we had that- Oh shit, I didn't get that up. Uh, which is why we had the fortune, is we want to now uh, rage this floor. And we want to try to see if we get chests, because now this is getting weird. Um, we had the right play to do the... We had the right play to do the raid, uh, to do the strength, but it was a no-item gloom, so we're gonna, we're gonna actually spend this room to see if we can pull some, some chests back. Hopefully. Maybe. It's a big if, you know, it's a big if, but we'll try. Oh! I'm a dumbass. Cool. I'm a dumbass. Nice. I forgot that I did not safety this room. Well, now, uh, now I know I can uh, get through the get through the thingy. This one. I couldn't check that one. I have 23 seconds on the uh, rage, so I want to move fairly quickly now to find that exit. Um. Also, this is altered as well. There's a lot of enemies over there. Okay, we have Mimics here, so I probably get to one Mimic, that's about it. Okay, drop the chests. <sighs> See, that's huge! That's very good. Got the Serenity back, so it's very good. I, I don't know where the exit is though. There's a very big pickup. Play was made good. It's, you know, you could have gotten burned on the play, that's fair, but the play was pretty good. Now there's not much else on this floor, but at least we got the Serenity back, so that does buy us a little bit of uh, insurance, if you will. I do need to figure out where the exit is, because I don't know yet. Yeah, Gloom, no items is certainly a bad, a bad combo there. Spectra, hey, thanks for tier 1, I really appreciate that, man. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit! Well, uh, that's a mistake. Especially because this is a course, and I don't have a witching. I have a raising up, but I don't think I'm surviving this engagement. I gotta make sure I die over here. I just, like, walk through that room willy-nilly, dude. Is there hope? No, because he's just gonna jump me. Yeah, okay. Now he might aggro. Oh, we're fine. Okay. I didn't even see the chorus. Shit. Well, he reset. That was my bad. That was a complete flub on my end because I just didn't pay attention. Uh, let's do another alteration. 
Actually. Hmm. What to do here? I think we'll gamble with the alteration because I can still deal with enemies straight up. But it's gonna be tricky because if we get another oh no item, it's really gonna cause a big problem. Yeah, but I like to I like to ang I like to finish the I like to finish 199 with a rage. So um we're gonna try to hold on to that as long as we can, but okay, the exit is here. But now we need to be extremely careful, just in general. So I'm gonna actually wait, because I'm not rolling any buffs right now. So I can wait a bit to see where these guys move, and then we'll get to the exit. Now I know this one just moved, so I need to wait for this one to move. Gotta be tight, gotta be tight guys, gotta be tight. If I'm not tight, I'm fucked. Gonna walk here. Alright, so let's hope we don't keep getting no items, because it's really, really gonna be a big issue. Okay, clean floor. Good. Got a sight back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I can do the sights and safeties all the way through. So let's do a safety here. Let's pull. We got down. this less than three. Yo, Manix, what's up, man? Good a little bit. How are you doing? I got, yeah, we gotta, we're really gonna have to play two, nine months, I really appreciate the support. We got our work cut out for us now, man. It was a, it was a great run up till now, but now we really have to be very, very careful. No fuck ups. Had one fuck up allowed and I burned it. We got fashions coming in. One is going that way. Oh my gosh, thanks for the bits. Good luck. Oh, I thank you so much. Focusing. Okay. I'm gonna wait for these fashions to get out of here. Uh, hey, Khan, thanks. Wow, thanks for that. Uh, the profit. My thanks, man. Tilda. Thanks for the hundred biddies. Uh, B dog. All right, time to have fun, guys. One. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm holding on to my sprint. Now, waiting for him to come out. And then now let's sprint. I'm gonna keep the distance. Oh my god, this tree, I swear to god. Okay. Keeping the distance. So I didn't want to sprint on the pull because he was gonna do infatuation, he was gonna do death trap. So we wanted to sprint when it got more dangerous, which was after all of that. Holding on to the uh, holding on to that steel as long as I can. It's like super emergency. We use that steel. Death trap. Oh boy. Please use death trap. Okay, there it is. Hey, queen. How are you? It's good to see you. Okay. Didn't drop the chest. Check the chest. Passion not coming this way. Intuition. Let's find the altered room. Uh, okay, dragon is coming in. Because it is uh, proximity and does open me up to that chest. I did safety, I did safety, I did safety. Um, holding on for that. Okay. Tonal coming in. Two. Gotta find that ultra room though. Also gotta dodge all those stupid trolls because they're gonna be really bad on, on machinists. One, two, okay. Okay, Bastion's going straight. Hippo is looking towards the is looking towards the chest, so I need to wait a second. Didn't he moves? Okay. So this uh, chorus is not gonna give me a problem. So I know I can do that. Chuck. Fortune came back. Tempted to use it already, but maybe not yet. I think I'm gonna for I'm gonna flight 95, flight 96, and get my butt get my butt to 97. I think that's the play. Uh, okay, we're running out of room. So let's fight the trap now. 
The trap is good because I know he's not gonna move, and I can try to I can try to figure out where the um, the courses are going right now. Uh, I'm sorry, the the fashions are going. Got about I gotta be careful here. I have the room behind me to work with, although there is a hippograph there. Okay, you are going this way, so I'm actually gonna adjust to go this way. Please don't burn me on this. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. We did safety this floor, so that's why I can make that movement. You are going straight. Okay. Let's proceed. That is the exit over there. And it is a it is a proximity enemy over there as well. So let's deal with the trap right now. Pull him out. Uh, we're gonna watch the hippograph right now to see which position he's gonna be in. And I think I know where the altered room is going to be, so we want to make sure we kind of get there too. Hippograph move. I'm actually gonna get behind the hippograph right now. Because if the fashion goes in a certain direction, I might get stuck. So let's fight here. Okay, he moved that way. So we'll wait for him to move. No ricochet, no ricochet, no ricochet. Okay, now I gotta get to that altar room. We gotta get there. Because I don't want to keep pulling and we get Corrigans and- Oh, respawn was that. Um... It is Mimic. Oh shit! Uh oh. Okay, I, I've done this one before. I know I can do this one. Can't grab it you. We got moving. Okay. I can use three. Alright, no problem with this with this dude. Thanks for the hype chain guys, I really appreciate it. Healing. I'm gonna do the trap next. Oh, went out, we'll get out. So let's do a flight, an alteration, and let's go to the next floor as is. Sit on that, sit on that serenity. There are four mimics over there. Let's go. I think I got spooked by them because um, I tr when I tried fighting them without items, without sustaining potions, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, strength is in. Let's do a uh, sight here. This is altered and this is flighted. That knight is a massive problem because I need steel for it. Mm, and I need to go in that direction too. Uh, he might aggro if I check this chest, I think. Ugh, I'm gonna steal. Okay, there goes the, my steal. One, two, three, four. Respecting, respecting, respecting. If I spawned a Mimic plus I dealt with the Chorus Man, GG. Ugh, I want the chest. So ideally this Shank and Steel will last me for this floor and the next floor. With the Flight. Then we get ourselves to 197 and then we figure it out from there. But I still have to like, dodge no item floors. <laughs> so let's just hope we don't get any. Um, I could, uh, I could fortune later when we have a bigger room. This is flighted, so I may not want to do that, but... Let's see. Alteration. 
Um, we have Corrigans, but I can't get there until I kill these dragons. That kind of sucks. Um, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna observe this room very carefully to see if we get lucky and the dragon moves to his left. If the dragon moves to his left, which he did not, I could get through. Now, right now, based on his current position, I might be able to get through actually to the right side. Um, so I gotta deal with this first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Swim. Oh, we didn't do it. But it's okay. It's not that big of a deal outside of the fact that I probably will overkill now. But it's whatever. I thought I could actually get through, but I think he just missed it by a little bit. And we gotta kill shit by the exit, too. So it is what it is. I mean, I can't control that. I gotta kill both of them. Feels bad. Uh, check. Yeah, of course you're a mimic. Why wouldn't you be a mimic? I gotta be careful about this trap. This is a huge waste of time. Let me see if I can eye the. If I can see where the exit is, just just to see if I can maybe be able to sneak it around. Uh, but more than likely, based on their current position, I have to pull. I, I think I have to pull one of. Uh, definitely, the course has to go. Hundred percent, the course needs to go. Uh, but the dragon, my, I might get lucky with the dragon. Yeah, I think I might get lucky with the dragon. But the risky bit here is that um, I will pull, go into that room, and then kind of fight in that room, and then just kind of hope for the best. Okay. Uh, you did not drop a chest. Man, all the lorry chests today. Oh man, this is tight. This is tight. Thing is, I didn't want to run the risk of him moving towards the entry, which I feel like could be a possibility. And, uh, I think my based on his current position, though, I think I would aggro the. I think I would aggro it. Maybe let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Also, I didn't use anything, so I need to use something. It's okay, it, it, the only shitty part is that uh, I'm losing the steel, which I could have gotten off earlier. The RNG was a little nicer. And I still have to worry about the fact that I still have that one Serenity sitting in, right? Poor man party cleared heaven on high for the first time. Hey, congratulations! Hopefully I can follow you up with a clear myself. We'll see. Gonna alter. I want to get rid of the alters now because I don't. I I prefer not to alter 197 up because you're changing undead to mimics. I got blinded. We need to move through this floor very fast. I need to do this within the steel. Uh, let's do a. Okay, 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 okay. The exit's already here, so let's do a safety here. Okay, let's move. So, this is not bad. My steel probably dropped after the second Mimic. Uh, that's not terrible, because then I can pull the dragons and I can fight them without steel. It's okay. Uh, it wants to open with Deathshot first again. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a little bit of an insurance. Well, no, I can do a Mimic without anything. That's not a problem. Uh, if anything, that's going to be for a double aggro. Or potential resolution play. My time, by the way, is fine. Like, we are really good on time, so it's just about moving through right now. Um, and if anything, again, like, the constant pulling is gonna help you with time, but this is about just literally expending your resources, and it- I think more so this floor was all about, um, how to use them, right? I think using the Fortune Rage was tremendous earlier, <clears throat> uh, because that really, really helped us out to get that Serenity from the drop. Yeah, I- I did not pay attention. And I just walked over a trap and it was a frog trap and then I aggroed a course. I was literally just like 
not paying attention. I wasn't looking at chat, I just I just didn't pay attention to so. chat. One, two, I did safety. Three, four, five, six. Uh, I think it's six. Uh, Fashion is coming here. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I did that too fast. I, I was gonna pull this, but I wanted to actually check the chest first. If you're fighting this as a machinist, guys, stay in melee range. Please, for the love of God, stay in melee range. He's gonna do two stones and then L5. If you run away from him, he will not do L5. He will just keep throwing stones at you, and that's how you're gonna die in machinist. So you have to stay in melee range for this. Yeah, it's just that if this is a Mimic, uh, it would've been better being the Mimic. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Keep your pants on. Just enough. Alright, let's see what the rest of the game has to give us, guys. Three, three more. I'm almost out of water, too. Feels bad. Okay. Suicide. You know what I'm thinking? Attempting a double rage. Here. I'm thinking a double rage here. Um, but do I have enough kills and can I survive? Uh, but I, I, I'm thinking a double rage. Like, the trickiest part now, it's that if I even step on an intentional landmine... Uh, I'm sorry, if I step on an intentional luring trap, I don't know if I survive. Plus, I have auto-healing disabled. So I have to make these kills very, very, uh, very concise. Because if I do not manage my HP properly, we are... the run's over. So, let's first fortune... oh. You jerk. Man. Okay, this is gonna be really tricky, but I'm gonna try my best. If we die, we die. If we die, we die. Don't hit me. Good. That's four kills. Five kills. Six kills. Oh wow! Oh, let's go. Okay. I'll have about twenty seconds on this rage. I think I got blinded, but I think there's something else here. Woo! Okay. Seventeen seconds, and this is the exit. The best I can do, so that's six, that's three kills. Oh boy, okay. I got ghosts. Oh, I'm having flashbacks of uh, wraiths and uh, wraiths and gravekeepers wombo combing me. Strength. I'm gonna reso right now. One. Two, three. Uh. Oh my god, there's so many. One, two, 
three. See if I can get at least like two hits on this next one. I don't see any gravekeepers coming in. One, two, give me this second one. Okay. Okay. Oops! And I look behind me. Okay, got got lucky. Got close to dying right there. However, I have that course going in. That course needs to go. I probably pull the course with a witching. Uh hold on. I should do a safety. Oh, I could mmm. Mmm. I think a witching play. I think we witching. The reason is is because uh, I need to kill it, right? But Spence, I need to buy as much time as I can on this fight. If this gets spicy, I witching. It's spicy. Okay. Hey, it's a toad. Okay, come over here. Two, three. Four, five. I did. I did safety here. The thing is, I don't think I need the witching on the next floor. I can really be very careful on the next floor. Um. So if I had to use the witching, it's here. So now we're kind of set up for the next floor. One ninety nine. We got a serenity. We got two rezos. We got two lusts. We got a sight. We just gotta gotta get there. Yo, I got I got jump scared. They say this game isn't a horror game, I got fucking jump scared. Oh, look at that. Alright. So now this will be fun. There's the exit. Found the exit. But I also found 20 million gravekeepers. So let's actually fortune. Gonna walk here, but I gotta be careful. What I wanna do, I wanna take out the ghosts immediately. The ghosts have to all die. We have to get rid of these ghosts. Because they're gonna cause me a problem if I'm gonna try to, uh... If I'm gonna try to, um... Oh! He's not right away. Okay. Pulling you. I was ready for a Mimic too. We're fighting this normally. I'm gonna fight this normally. I gotta get rid of the ghosts. If the ghosts are all gone, I can breathe because then I don't have to worry about uh, the random AoEs hitting me. So we eliminate the ghosts first, straight up. Especially because I have the Shang Steel. Huge steal. Another another kind of clutch last floor steal. I got that last time I think on Red Mage. Uh, when we were doing the no the no potion run. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Oh. Actually we're not going that way, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna go this way instead. I wanna get rid of this ghost first. This ghost really needs to go. And then I can kind of breathe a little bit, then we can probably rezo and finish out things, but I gotta also observe these Gravekeepers. By having the steal, it does afford me to kill off the, gra the Gravekeepers. I can kill them now. Um, so I probably will after this, because what I, again, I don't want to happen, is I don't want to have to deal with the ghosts shooting at me, trying to manage my stupid resolution. So by getting rid of these ghosts, it really frees me up to just have a little bit more security. Okay, now I'm gonna this, I'm gonna this, we're gonna resolution, and we're gonna get rid of these these uh, grave keepers. Uh, we'll take care of you right now. I can't see shit, great. That's one down. Let's do another. Come back here. This will save me from having to worry about these, so these are important to take out right now. Um, Getting rid of these is top priority. Oh, we have we have been blessed by the floating chest today. Floating chest is here today. Let's get rid of this Gubu. Because I have to wait for that gravekeeper anyway. One. Two. Three. Okay, now we do the gravekeeper. One. Right here. Two. Three. Drop the chest. I'll get the chest. 
because we gotta get the chests. Okay, and let's go get the intuition. First time seeing the chest. I I think this is the second time I saw that chest. Okay, now we just clear this off. We we have to these have to die, so it doesn't really matter what I decide. We just have to kill these. So we do the other resolution. I will do this very carefully. Even though I've been killing them before they even get to me, I'll do this very carefully. One, two, three. One, we'll kill both of them at the same time. Two. Three. Ghosts are here. Hey! Alright, cool, 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 cool. I'm out of here. Bye! See ya! See ya! There we go! We managed it! One Serenity, two Rages, two Flights, two Alterations, two Strengths and Steals. We managed it. Yo, Queso, thanks for the Prime, man. <laughs> Let's go. Oh! Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Rip. Okay. Hey, with 20 minutes! Hey, yo, we talk about time management. I mean, that's time management. Although, this ended up becoming more palm management, really, at the end. Uh, oh good, I get the glass pumpkin. Thank you. That's that's what I prefer, the glass pumpkin. <clears throat> yep, we did it. It's done. Whee! And it's another color in the book. So let's go. I got my... Gotta, gotta warm the seat. Oh, that's not how I do that. Rip. Gotta warm the seat up. I, I, I like the side angle. This is... I like the side angle view. It's kind of nice. We gotta get the tree. Well, let's go this way. Let's go. Alright, we managed. This was a tough one. I This was a challenge. This is a really good one. Uh, we weren't really gifted too much. We, we kind of had the average amount of pomanders. But most importantly, man, that time. I did not have to worry about the clock. I, I was not worried about the clock, really, the whole run. You know? We were worried about how to use pomanders, but the clock was not a threat to me, so... Hopefully that if anyone if any of you guys were here for a lot of it, hopefully it came came you know it was good for you guys. I'm gonna I'll definitely upload this in, in YouTube in, in the next few days, but um I hope that this one gives another perspective for anyone trying to go for that clear. We got two weeks from now, extra two weeks to try to get Necromancer. So hopefully um if any of you are still working on it, something hopefully came out of this run. I hope that's what I'm hoping for. So. Siri, aw, thanks guys for being here. That was a lot of fun. Man, we had, I will not forget that 188. That 188, I think, I'm gonna try to clip that and maybe upload it somewhere, because that was, that was crazy. I, I really have not seen that many Mimics show up uh, in my runs like that, so. <laughs> but that's why, I hope I, I, I imparted some of the information to you guys, Prophet, so. Um. Aw, it's nice to, nice to hear, guys. Alright, yo. We cleared, we cleared Machinist. I did say kind of early into the stream. Aw, oh, Shayla. Thanks, Shayla. Too kind, my friend. I did say, um... Hey, give it a sub to Alf. Let's go. Shout out to Alf. Um... Thank you, first of all, everyone, for being here. Appreciate it. We were talking a little bit about it earlier in the stream. I think I will... We will do another Palace run. We will do Ninja. I'll do Ninja. We'll do Ninja. Sunday, Tuesday, we'll do Ninja. And then we'll get back into Heaven on High and practice Melee. So let's go Ninja on uh, Sunday, Tuesday. Um, honestly, Savix was like, hey, can you do Ninja? I'm like, okay. <laughs> so let's do Ninja. Um, we'll do Ninja. So we'll, we'll go back to Palace one last time, and then uh, we'll do the Ninja at least one time, and then we'll go back to Heaven on High to do the practice, and then uh, Endwalker. So, hey. Guys, thanks for being here. Beyon, Mezzo, thanks for those follows. Tion, thanks for that thanks for that follow. Uh, open a sack for you, Luna. I'll open one sack for you, Luna. That's it. Only one sack for the for the night, alright? Don't worry don't worry about the numbers, alright? Don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about it. There, I got an expanse rapier. Endless. There you go. Alright. Thanks guys for being here. Thanks for those follows. Thanks for the subs. It was a really fun time. I'm more I'm more appreciative that my connection actually held together. Shocker, my connection's good. So hopefully it stays good for the next two weeks. Um, let's go say hello to someone today. Let's see who's live. Let's let's drop you guys off to somewhere. 
uh, in the in the Twitter in the Twitter in the um in the uh Twitch verse. Hey, thanks for the sub. Wait, where is that? Oh, is that the oh yo Oteno? Oh, thanks, man. Hey, and you were you were in game and you said you said hello. So hello, thank you for the prime theming and the follow. I appreciate it. Um, let's go say hello to um. I want to. I know. I think I know who I want to say hello to today. Um, so Monday, okay. So I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna stream Sunday. We'll start Ninja, and then and then Tuesday we'll go back and we'll do Ninja to the continuation. But on Monday, I'm not streaming. But I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a collab with Janabi. Zyros and our buddy Celine, and we're gonna play Mario Party. I think Celine is streaming it, but I think also Janabi might be streaming it. So Janabi's live right now, and I want to say hello to her. She's gonna be one of the pals. We're gonna play Mario Party on Monday. That's gonna be 10 p.m. Eastern, by the way. So like a, an hour after I usually stream. Um, but we'll do that Monday. So look forward to that Monday. Um, or we'll go, we'll go, we'll go say hello to Miss Janabi. She's really cool. She's gonna give you a good time. Yeah, she's she's a good friend. Um, she's got a great stream over there, and she is. Hopefully gonna keep streaming. She's been streaming for five hours, so I know she's gonna keep streaming. <laughs> right? That's how that goes. Uh, if you guys have my ma animated emotes, please spam that in her chat. Uh, plus one my emotes into the into Twitch. Um, oh, I didn't even start the raid. Oops. Uh, let's go to Janami. Thanks, guys. Thanks. That was this was fun. I really liked it. Uh, look forward to Ninja on Sunday. We'll do Ninja Sunday. We'll continue it on on Tuesday, and then we'll be back in Heaven on High probably in Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving will be back in Heaven on High. So, um, we'll do Nin. Well, I'll do Nin. I'll do Nin. I, like I said, if we clear today, I'll do Ninja. <laughs> so let's go say hello to Janabi. Thank you guys for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I hope to catch you tomorrow. I'll be on Selene's stream tomorrow, but I hope I catch you Sunday for my stream. So, good night right now. <laughs>